Welcome back, everyone, to this special episode of Shit Island! Where we're going crazy! Wow, I'm really loud. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just because we're so excited to finally be back here. Finally Peter back. is back from the real life Shit Island called Copenhagen. I'm back, long time baby. of the show will know is what inspired the name of this program. Sure. Uh, this month, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we're back from our unannounced hiatus. <laughs> yep. Uh, we weren't we weren't really meant to go on a hiatus, I don't think. No, I had some trips to Bulgaria for some yeah. issues. Let's not get into it. There's still a court case pending. The goat escaped from the farm. It was really complicated. <laughs> no, I went to the farm. I went up north. Look, yeah. I mean, yeah. we we're we're busy people. We're, yeah, probably, yeah. we're not sure. even busy people, busy. really. But <laughs> yeah, we got lives. Look, yeah. I mean, shut up. <laughs> we're very we rich and very famous. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's true. true. We get to decide what to do with our lives. So, this podcast you know, mm -hmm. has yep. made us very rich and very famous. As Kanye yes. West says, and you should be honored by my lateness that I would even show up to this fake shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And if you, dear listener, want to make us more rich and more famous, so we go even <laughs> longer hiatus. <laughs> remember, there's the Patreon link in the description below. Yeah. You, you can go click on it, and then click on some more things and give us money. Uh, and if you want me to quote more cancelled people, definitely oh, do I that. do want that. I love it when you quote cancelled people, as Louis C.K. put it. <laughs> 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 uh, remember Louis C.K.? Yeah, I remember Louis C.K. Everyone loved him a couple dude. years ago. Yeah, and then he got cancelled. Yeah. yeah. Now he's bad. So let that be a lesson to your kids out there. Don't get cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of cancelled people, let's watch the Democratic <laughs> presidential debate. <laughs> Yes, yes, for this special episode. He's going to be able to weigh in on every topic, but over the course of the next two hours, oh, yeah, um, we will hear from everyone. Mm -hmm. Was it uh, audience, Eric like Swalwell? Was the guy who uh, recently think, dropped out? I think they're going to introduce him in a minute. Yeah. Something or, Swalwell. No, they already did. Never mind. Well, let's hope they put a little banner beneath the people that are talking, because I have no idea who half these people are. We fucking researched them. <laughs> I feel like I know of these people, but I don't feel like there's anything to know about them. In yeah. a recent interview, you said I know some of these Americans people. I don't even recognize others. I remember this guy. I don't know. Yeah, who that this is. this like guy that. is. Um, my to you he's is, my my uh, my attorney, Hindu, 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 I believe. <laughs> ah, and totally. so, okay, well, that's good. That it's nice how he got on the stage. Yeah. yeah. Quite right. We have a new vision for America. San Bernie Sanders. I don't know who that is. I haven't heard of him before. Oh, San Bernie. Yeah, I know San Bernie. San Bernie. Is he a? Is it short for senior? On the streets is he, today. Is he Mexican? Yes. We think it is uh, your Bernie Sanders. It's also because he's a change. senior. And oh by yeah, that, yes, that makes sense. That healthcare, in my view, is a human right, and we have got to pass a Medicare for all single payer system. <laughs> Under that system, by the way, that could never work. That's the majority <laughs> of the people in this country will be paying significantly less for health care. Health care is just right one now. of those things. It just works better with the free market. That education is no, the yeah, for this uh, as an ardent communist, I would agree. I believe <laughs> that we must make public colleges and universities tuition free and eliminate student debt. And we do that by placing a tax on Wall Street. Like the poll Every tax on the, on the road that I have or the cars that drive by Wall Street. I'll be down with that. 100% tax on the vendors outside Wall Street Will making the kebabs. <laughs> yeah, the hot dogs and the... In the Sanders administration. People who have health care on the Medicare for all will have no premiums, no deductibles, no co-payments, no out-of-pocket out of, exp out of expenses. Yes, they will pay more in taxes, but less in health care for what they get. Thank you, Senator. <laughs> Senator, I, I, Senator, I, I, no, oh, Senator would, Bennett, I, I, we're going to get to everybody, I no, promise, like but let me just, some... Senator Biden, promise, everybody's going to get in here, promise. <laughs> Uh, Vice President Biden. Yeah, shut up, Biden. Senator Sanders, like as you. you know, has been calling for well, a revolution. Oh, you look so sad. He looks like a, a, a slightly older, sadder Ted Danson. Of income inequality <laughs> in this you said, oh, you look at him. Oh, so much crying. You said, nobody has to be punished. No one's standard of living would change. He really does look like he's on the brink of crying. Changed. He does. Yeah. What do you mean by that? What I meant by that is, look, 
Maybe he just I mean, uh, saw his phone. I'd be crying if I was Biden. Yeah, <laughs> going down. Actually, we're still good at this point. I also just obey diplomatists. No, they they actually went down after the um, first debate. It was not Yeah. Debate. Oh no, this was the first debate. Never no mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. What I'm saying is that we've got so, to be straightforward. Um, maybe he knows something sure we don't see. He knows he's going to yeah, fail maybe. here. His polling numbers were really they high when he announced, and then when he started yeah. talking, <laughs> people were down. like, wait a minute. Hang on, Biden. It's kind of racist what you're saying there, Biden. Oh, yeah, the whole segregation thing. Yeah. Is, is, is sure. and Biden still family. hasn't stepped away from as far as I know. The funniest thing to me about these debates is how little they matter. Like oh, yeah. how, how, how little of an impact they have. Like, if, um, I saw some poll that asked people who did the best and then broke it down in who those people were expecting to vote for. And they all pretty much, all the people who liked Biden thought Biden did the best. All the people that liked Bernie thought Bernie did the best. All the people, or the two people that liked Marianne Williamson thought she did the best. <laughs> It literally doesn't matter what they say in these debates. Like, remember Trump and Hillary? How Trump was yeah. just wiped completely by Hillary? Doesn't matter. People just go in. People know what they think before they go into these. It's it's more like just like uh, Roman Empire shit. <laughs> just throw them in the get in the gladiator pit and make them sound stupid for our amusement. Yeah, largely speaking, unless you really fuck up them. It might hurt you, yeah. As in Biden America, supporting segregation to, you know, half black woman. <laughs> See, I think Trump could have gotten away with defending segregation. Well, Trump could, yeah, it's not Biden. Not well, people. Yeah. For too long, the rules uh, the party has changed since, like, the, whenever the Biden was around, like, the fucking 40s. Good most, old most, Delaware Democrats. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, so for every Corporate family that is shills less than and racist dollars a year, yeah. they will receive a tax credit that That's they can collect Biden. five hundred dollars a month, which will make all the difference between those oh, families yeah, being this able is, to get to uh, the end of the month with dignity. Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris talking not. about and on tax day one, cuts I will repeal that tax families. bill that benefits the top one percent and the biggest corporations. No, yeah, she's got a policy about that. Yeah, it's a weirdly yeah. like white conservative this, policy, or like yeah. um, not like a modern day conservative, but like a like a 1930s conservative thing. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like also a Huey very long thing. Yeah, Huey Long, but it's also very Senator like Sanders playbook Democrat. I think Democratic every Democratic socials. nominee since at least Clinton has talked about tax cuts for the middle class and yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that the bottom line is if we don't clearly define that we are oh, not and Looper. socialists. Oh, uh, yeah, just Hick and Looper. Who cares about him? So, what do you two think about middle class tax cuts? <laughs> and if you look at Let's just talk over this guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's Hickenlooper. Who cares about Hickenlooper? Are, are we going to piss off the Hickenlooper fan base in our audience? Hickenlooper? I mean, I want that to happen, actually. I want that to happen. We've already pissed off the Yang gang. We've pissed off, like, the Tulsi Gabbard people. Like, who are we going to piss off now? <laughs> I'm not sure there is a base around Hickenlooper or the Buttigieg guy. That's only Nate does people. I don't think the people. Who like, uh, let me put it like this. I don't think the people that like Hickenlooper and Buttigieg are active online. Maybe not, no. uh, I think we also annoyed the Marianne Williamson people. I have been so. nothing but supportive to my <laughs> spiritual goddess, uh, Marianne Williamson. You know, after s I was pretty near in regards to Marianne, but after seeing her on Dave Rubin, I'm full on Alt Mother 2020. <laughs> I but fuck Bernie, Alt Mudder gets it. I loved that interview. Donald Anyone who hasn't watched uh, Marianne well, Williamson go on, watch it. It's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> on, on that in on Dave Rubin. Rubin, yeah, watch it because, because it's it's amazing. It's like he dragged in some crazy lady from a bus stop and uh, was completely wiped by her in the entire yeah. interview. She made so much sense because he kept asking the most basic questions, which was you know right up. Yeah, and she went through it like she was demon. Like, you know, an eight year old. Yeah, I mean, when, like, hey, this is how racism works over centuries. It would have been so bad. easy to expose her as this spiritual nut who believes in angel forces and stuff. But instead, he asked her about, like, slavery. That's how. And, uh, <laughs> the thing she surprisingly knows shit about. 
Yeah, but she had basic knowledge about the areas, which is more than Dave Rubin, who I don't believe has read anything. Yes. And like, that, uh, I mean, she and looks that, really smart. That alone was enough to expose how little he knows and how few talking points he has. Yeah, it's amazing. There's a difference between capitalism on the one hand and greed on the other. And so all what? The things what? Wait, hang on, what? Capitalism on the one hand and greed, what the hang on? Remember I said she, remember how I talked about Gillibrand and I said that she is a chameleon and she used to be this very yeah. fiscal conservative person? She's still yeah. in that yeah. border, like, you don't know where you have her on any issue uh, until she says something about it and she might contradict herself, but the only thing you know she's against is, like, abuse by men. We want healthy capitalism, we don't want corrupt that's good. That's something, but it's not like a I'm generally Senator also against that, to be honest. You have said, uh, well, I mean, it's possible to write policy yeah. proposals generally. that have generally. no basis in reality. You might as well call them candy. Were you referring to any candidate or proposal? Who's in this guy? When you said that? Is this a random Who's audience member? <laughs> <laughs> so it's then it's from Michael Bennett. <laughs> oh, Michael Bennett. Um, oh, well, I think I talked all, about him. I yeah, yeah, I remember the him being talked about. I don't remember anything I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think that describes most people's reaction to Michael Bennett. It's amazing that this guy got on stage, but Gravel is in some hut I in know, California like, right now. Like, people have been you know, going on about how the DNC will fuck over Bernie. Now, motherfuckers, the DNC is fucking over Mike Gravel. That's the real person you have to be fucking angry about. I have a conspiracy <laughs> theory Bernie. that they reached out to Gravel and he was like, what? I'm running for president? No. I'm busy. I'm doing Milan tomorrow. Well, I mean, that, that's basically how the teens went about it. The Gravel teens. Yeah, it looks like they don't run anything past him. They just tweet whatever and put his name on it. <laughs> basically. That's it. Go check out, you know, Gravel's Twitter because it's fucking great. I believe we will get there much more quickly if we do that. But wait, but Bernie mentioned, Bernie, if I could just finish, Bernie mentioned that the No, you can't finish. Shut up. No one cares. Now this guy looks sad. Look at him. We rejected Medicare for All. No, I'm also here. My Senator name is Bennett. Bennett. For the moment, I, my colleague Thank you. No one cares, Thank Bennett. You. No one cares. In Senator Sanders' bill, yeah. I wrote the part in Senator Sanders' bill. Now, let me just ride on the Sanders train here. What the two senators said. Senator. Because the truth is, if you have it's a It's so cool that Bernie Sanders is almost 80 and he's the cool kid. Move us to single yeah, yes. Senator, we will get to this. We will get to this. I, I I, before we do, I, I want to. Say hello and good evening, but not just to uh, Mayor uh, Buttigieg. Well, not just uh, that reminds me, I just want to thank our corporate sponsors, NBC News, for uh, <laughs> making this uh, stream possible. Yeah. Uh, stream episode, whatever this is. Buttigieg is the new favorite of uh, mainstream media, it seems. Jesse yeah, they really why? are. It's, it's why? He was on the cover of Time magazine, death. I think. I think it's because he's gay and also he has that charismatic Obama death. thing. I also believe in free but he doesn't. He? Yeah, I think they really want him to, though. For whom yeah, he's barrier. so bland and boring and... I don't, I don't know, he's just, yeah. Sense he doesn't even have, like, to a record. He, like, to tore down some houses in South Bend and... I think the not really the dealt with racism American there. Right. The thing is, he doesn't connect to people in any way. You're so right. Them. Like, he mm -hmm. did an interview where he was asked what his favorite no, book was, and he said the Iliad, or like the, uh, the Odyssey, or some some mm -hmm. ancient yes, Greek work. It, I think it was the yeah. I think it was the yeah, Iliad. Yeah. Like, who has read? Oh no, it was Ulysses, which is even more like Ulysses. Yeah. Didn't he name which one isn't Greek? Ulysses? Which isn't Greek? I'm an idiot. No, it's it's uh, it's an old. It's it's. Uh, I think it's written by James Joyce. Don't kill me, comment section. But it's it's an old classic, big huge. It's like a tall story book, essentially. No, everyone's claiming to have read it, and no one's read it. But it's this yeah, very yeah, no, intellectual. Is, it is yeah, the it's the, the peace Poodoo gang is there. gonna go after you now. He could he could have just said like my favorite book is um I don't know what's a big one like some uh King book or whatever. If you wanted people to be like oh yeah I like that book too, but no one's read Ulysses. Uh, I really like Marianne Williamson's latest book. <laughs> Why what's it called? Spiritual healing and weight loss or and something. I think that's like oh, there you go. That's, that's trillion great one. dollars Love it. a year. Read it five times. How would you do mm -hmm. that? Sorry? How would you do that? I'm sorry. Are you, are you asking me a question? Me? Are we going to talk? Hang on. 
Now we need to put the American people in okay, position. Okay, we need to let this talk. We've got to talk because the Yang gang's going to get angry otherwise. We had a value-added tax that even half the European Please level. add the uh, value-added tax. No! Please add the Benny Hill music the to the Yang whenever he's talking. A value-added tax to pay for the fucking UBI. Okay, aside from many issues with the UBI itself, which is yeah, bad. See, the thing is, the US fucking value-added taxes. Most Americans already pay VAT. A it's it's only yeah, a VAT handful of states that don't have VAT, and they're pretty high in in the U.S. I think the average is around 20 percent, so that would be an increase of that. So like uh, everything would also increase like, in, in like every price yeah, would go up. So would he, your your month your thousand dollars would be incrementally would he less. Would add a federal VAT or would he replace yes. the state no, no, VAT? He would add a federal one, so you'd pay Sorry, VAT twice. So now the VAT is a horrible. It's month, regressive as fuck. I mean, it's, it's yeah. dumb. It's like giving you a thousand dollars to buy a thousand dollar thing, but then the thing costs a thousand three hundred more. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, he's racing. <laughs> he's, he's talking UBI about how like, oh, UBI will like put money, put money back into the economy, but it's like if you raise the prices of everything, it, it's not going to put money back into the economy. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be way less than you're saying it's going to be at least. Okay, uh, Congressman Swallow, I talked about. Uh, just expand the social safety net. And you just actually mentioned it. Many Americans are worried sounds about cars. Yeah, that's socialism. Cars, yeah, robots, yeah. sounds like yeah. a lot of work. Drones, I mean, as he said, that's well, part of why he wants to have the UBI to do away with the social safety net, which is yeah. bad, yeah. in my adapt. opinion. <laughs> just replace <laughs> healthcare with a we thousand bucks a month. Yeah, yeah, you can fucking pay for a broken rib with that. I've yeah, and then people say, you know, you can choose to go into like, the fucking so safety net or the UBI thing. It's like, okay, so, so what's the fucking point? On one end, the and the second is, kids. if you start, like, if all these people are going to go into UBI, you effectively starve the other programs of, like, means to function. To so, it's kind of bad. Yeah, and just to give some context of how old this debate is, this guy's already dropped out. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah this is uh, oh, Eric Chalmers. Oh, he dropped out. I was feeling bad for talking over this Swalwell guy, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, no, he dropped out pretty recently. Yeah. I guess we did it too late for him to get this shit island uh, boost. Yeah. yeah. No, we already talked about him. We talked about him in the first episode. Yeah, I talked about Swalwell. I remember I watched his Oh yeah, but you didn't get like the second shit island boost from us talking about him. Again, <laughs> gun violence for yeah. families who are fearful of sending their kids to probably the most anyone has ever torch. talked about it. Vice I think. President, would you like to sing a torch I song? Would. <laughs> I'm still holding on to that torch. I want to make it clear to you. Look, the fact of the matter is, what we have to do is make the sure that segregation is on about. to go on to educate for an education. The fact is that that's why I propose us focusing on <laughs> schools that are in distress. That's why I think we should triple the amount of money we so spend. So all schools in America. Schools. That's why I think we should have universal <laughs> pre-K. That's why I think Is he going to do away with that the property tax thing, which funds school. local schools? 65 out of 100 now that's need kind of something beyond high school. Pretty important. And we should provide for them so, to be what's, able what's to get doing? that education. I recognize, I find, I recognize the look in Biden's eyes now. It's the look of he's watching Game of Thrones, but he was pulled out of the viewing room just before the last two episodes aired. So he's thinking about the last two episodes of Game of Thrones right now Ex excited no to find uh, out what it, what you know the thing that. is about but but he was pulled out before he could do it so now he, he's thinking about game of thrones while talking about politics do, that's what that's the look it's yeah. a very specific <laughs> look right. yeah it is but it does century. capture it very well it's the look of i really don't want to be here i really want to finish the last 10 minutes yeah. of whatever <laughs> i was watching Part of Joe's generation. I'm all for part of Joe's generation. Let me respond. The issue, if I may say, is not generational. Let's please, please. The issue is not generational. The issue is who has the guts to take on Wall Street, to take on the fossil fuel industry, to take on the big money interests who have unbelievable influence over the economic and political life of this country. These issues that is uh, that's Joe Biden, I think. Yes. I'm sure Joe Biden would take on all those big interests. You know Joe Biden, you know, hero of the working class. <laughs> Tireless defender of, uh, you know, the little guy. Witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. With the tax cut. Mm-hmm. $500 a month. <laughs>
Part of the issue that is at play in America today, and we've all been traveling around the country, I certainly have, I'm meeting people who are working two and three jobs. You know, this president walks around talking about and flouting his great economy, right? My great economy, my oh, great economy. Oh, I hate her. Yes, you know, bless her. I mean, she was the darling of this whole thing before Biden announced, and she's really trying. Well, that's fine if you own stocks. Mm. Yeah, so right. Many families in America terrible. <laughs> this is overshined for someone more terrible. Yeah. Of yours, and they point to the jobless numbers and the unemployment numbers. Uh, well, yeah, people in America... As, as we talked about a thing in, like, the episode with her and it and I she wants to frame herself like this progressive prosecutor. Like, hey, no, but if you want to have like see like a press prosecutor to look up her bum, I think in Queens, like New York. She She's good. She might have uh, as bad of a record as Joe Biden, and that's no small thing. And this is going to be a show of hands question. Yeah, her we record's asked a question awful. About healthcare last night that spurred Just a awful. lot of discussion, as you know. We're going to do it again now. Many people watching at home have health insurance or their employer. Let Williamson speak. Who here Let Williamson speak. <laughs> yeah, come on, or mom, or mom, or mom. I like that. Look at how respectful she is. She doesn't even raise her hands. She's just like, I'm visualizing the word going to me. I'm visualizing that the conversation will move towards me. I don't need to actively participate. If I stay quiet and ask the universe, they're going to let me talk. And that's just the, the Williamson way. In 2005, when I ran for Congress in a two to one Republican district, I actually ran on Medicare for all. And I won that two to one Republican district twice. And the way I Back formulated check it was needed. simple. That makes me kind of wonder what the other positions like were. Because <laughs> I'm kind of curious before. now so that's what how you swung over those Republicans. Um, kind of worried. I believe we yeah. need to get to universal health care as a right and not a privilege. To she definitely care. had an A from the, the NRA. Way you get there which is, is not a good, uh, with the good distinction. God bless the insurers if they want to compete. Yeah, generally, I'd rather them not have an A from those people. No. Over their profits, and I doubt they ever will. Kind of bad. So what will happen is people will choose Medicare, you will transition, we will get to Medicare for all, and then your step to single payer is so short, I would make it an earned benefit, just like Social Security, so that you buy in your whole life, it is right. always there for you, and it's permanent, and it's universal. Senator, your time's out. I want to put that same question to uh, Mayor Buttigieg. Yeah, we've taught, look, everybody who you says say, yo. Medicare for all, every yo. person in politics I, I think who allows so. that Yo, 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 to check it. Trying. Has a Trying to get hit with the kids. How, how do you do? For yo, the let's talk about Medicare, yo. Yo, let's rap about healthcare. Now here's how I would do it. It's very simple. Single payer, I would call it yo, Medicare in for the biz. It's like, like this, like right? You pay taxes and you go to the hospital and shit. People can buy Hell it. Yeah. And if people like us are right, that that will be not only a more inclusive plan, but a more efficient plan than any of the corporate. I feel like there, it's too cheap to call being the, the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, a distinction. Countries that have outright socialized it <laughs> isn't. Like England, I feel like that's that's a, a that's a a, a, a minute detail at best. I've never even heard of South Bend, Indiana. kid in like you know primary school. I started out this year dealing with the terminal illness of my father. I make decisions for a living. And nothing could have prepared me for the kind you of make decisions, decisions for a living about South <laughs> Bend, <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, decisions like, what the fuck decisions are South Bend, yeah, Indiana what, made? What decisions has he made? He doesn't have a record on anything. Last year yeah. I had to choose because I had two potholes on the freeway, and we only had money right away to fix one. So I fixed the ones for trucks because that would give more jobs. Look, this is very personal to me. When. Yeah, uh, of all the mayors, uh, I think the Blasio is probably my favorite. He actually has a record. Imagine what a bike. Fucking. Uh, what about Bernie Sanders? He's a mayor. Oh yeah, he was a mayor. That's right, Burlington. And uh, he was given months. This mayor record that is pretty good, actually. Them, what would have happened? Yeah. Well, well, fuck it. Said, yeah, go, Bernie. Sorry, sorry, De Blasio. Um, keep up your Sandinista the work, the though, in uh, fucking New York. Also, De Blasio has done some pretty messed up stuff, like the Amazon deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's done good stuff as well, but the fucking Amazon things is awful. 
Mm. Every one, whether they have private insurance, employer insurance, or no insurance. Luckily, they, the, uh, buy in in the exchange. Well, yeah. the people should have the freedom to choose not to have insurance. What a great, matters. great talking point. Right ah, yes, that, that's what we need. What Which is also hilarious because that freedom. implies he wants to get rid of Obamacare. We must move now. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. I, also like, I guess maybe it's like, you know, a uh, Sartreist, um, like, existentialist. You know, you should always have, you know, the freedom to choose to die or something. <laughs> oh my god. He's all about yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's actually a really deep answer. You're just not getting it. Yeah, he's like an anti-natalist. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's all by him. Abortion should be free and available uh, on the go. Actually, no, he doesn't, he doesn't even support that. That's better than his actual position on abortion. <laughs> yeah. Retroactive abortions. <laughs> yeah. Ah, no, nah, Biden's record and position on abortion is bad. Yeah, to provide really health care to every man, woman, and child, and in most cases, they're spending 50% per capita what we are spending. Let's be clear. Let us be very clear. The function of health care today, from the insurance and drug company perspective, is not to provide quality care to all in a cost-effective way. The function of the healthcare system When I see today Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders like writing stuff on a piece of paper, I like to imagine they're doing crossword puzzles. I can totally believe that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> like, it looks like they're writing something down to talk about, but they're actually just like four-letter word. <laughs> Which is genius, because you could also do like a... Um, you could look smart while you're doing it because you're trying to think of words. I, I just, yeah. I just have to follow up a three-letter word for vehicle. Bike. No way. No way. Truck. Yeah. No way. Bike. B A Y K. B A Y K. B Y K. B Y K. Got it. Yeah. Anyway, healthcare. Nice. <laughs> Of millions of people are prepared to stand up oh, and talking... tell the insurance Nobody companies. Nobody asked him about Medicare for all that. That was the first that question he got. Is gone, yeah, but it's the only thing he wants to talk about. Right, oh, fair enough. For... Well, no, they, they ask everyone now about health care. So, okay, right, I guess we're doing healthcare again. Uh, Medicare for all. William um, Zun. I like it. Hell yeah! Or mum, or mum, or mum. Okay, okay, let's let's listen to what what he has to say. Yeah. Of prescription drugs. Well, first of all, the government should never have made the deal with the big pharma that they couldn't negotiate. That was just part of the regular corruption by which multinational corporations have their way with us. Of you course. know, I want to say mm -hmm. that while I agree with, uh, I'm, I'm with Senator Bennett and others, but I agree with almost everything here. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> It's really nice that we've got all these plans, but if you think we're going to beat Donald Trump by just having all these plans, you got another thing coming. Because he didn't win by saying he had a plan. He won by simply saying, make America great again. We've got to get deeper than just these superficial fixes, as important as they are. Even we need if we're good just talking slogans. about the superficial fixes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we don't have a health care system in the United States. We have a sickness care system in the United States. We just wait till Ooh, somebody boy. gets sick, and then mm. we talk about who's going to pay for the treatment and how they're going to be treated. What we need to talk about is why so many Americans have unnecessary chronic illnesses, so many more compared to other countries. And that gets back into not not just the, health, the uh, big pharma, not just health insurance companies. It has to Everyone's do with chemical policy. Everyone's looking at her like, what the fuck is she all about? It has to do with food policy. It has to do with drug policy. Thank you. Thank it you. has Senator, to do with environmental Senator policy. Bennett, a question for you. you well, I hope the Marianne Wu and some gang will uh, appreciate us being silent for that answer. That reminds me of uh, the, uh, the conservative leader in, in Sweden who thinks that mental illness is, quote, all in your head, which yeah. Yes, technically is the truth. Yeah. Uh, sure. But he he says that instead of like doing like taking prescription medications or going to the doctor, you should just take walks and go outside in the fresh air and stuff. Sweet. I mean, like if you're depressed, just go outside and go for a walk. Exactly a solution. Hashtag Wow, thanks, I'm cured. 
Um, <laughs> no, no you go for a walk. It's good for your health. Why aren't we talking about, like, we talking about why so many Americans Sanders are sick and what we can do about that instead of talking about health care? I think part of the reason why so many Americans are sick is because they don't have access to health care. It actually it reminds me of... Everything she said reminds me of something that happened in Denmark 10 years ago. They changed the name of our health care card from sickness help card to healthiness card. Yeah. Because, like, it, it, I think it was, again, like this uh, spiritual connection thing. <laughs> where it's, it's not about just helping you if you're sick, it's about ensuring your health. And fun fact, no one has been sick in Denmark ever since. Oh, nice. Actually, our government is doing the same thing. We're redoing the way we do our zoning and planning ordinances or whatnot. And the, Medicare the old system as they framed it was a no unless system. But now we're going to have a yes if system. And Medicaid if you can tell me what the fuck the difference is, is between a no unless and a yes if, then uh, fucking the have at it, because it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's the same thing. Positivity. Yeah, exactly. That's the, the, that's the no. only difference. Like, it's the same. The hospital, it means the same. We will substantially lower the cost of healthcare in this country because we'll stop the greed of the insurance companies. Am I the only one that feels like everyone on stage has, like everyone on stage has gone through some kind of hit trauma recently, except Bernie? And the reality of how this affects real people. Ah, yeah, when I spoke about now, yes, you're all right. Ugh, Kamala Harris. So, how long are they going to be? talking about healthcare for it's been half an hour for um, it's been 30 minutes and they're still uh, talking about healthcare and so no, there's some time steps. In like a minute, they'll go to, um, let's see. The oh, no, more healthcare. Never mind. Nice. Um, in about five minutes, they should go to the immigration the crisis, <laughs> according to one of the comments below this video. Ah. Uh, once again, thank you, NBC News, for making this available for us. Wouldn't it be funny if they insisted on talking about abortion for an hour and they all agreed? They wouldn't all agree. Fucking Biden on the stage there. <laughs> oh, that's true, yeah, so they'd all gang up on Biden. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah which That'd I'm down with. <laughs> I'm down with everyone My ganging up on Biden. I was just in the emergency room, and I'm telling you, thank you, we fight health insurance companies every single week. <coughs> we stand you. in line and pay expensive prescription drugs. We, have we fight have them a once a week. Guarantee. If you're sick, you're sick, yep. and in America, we shall you fight them on the beaches. <laughs> okay. We shall Every fight time. them in the streets. <laughs> Every Thursday, because that's when people work overtime. I go to the emergency room once a week, and I fight with the insurance companies. It's like, wait, 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 hang on. You go to the emergency room once a week? What the fuck is wrong with you? I go to the emergency room once a week in my underwear, and I talk to them and yell at them, because I believe they are planting things in our brains. <laughs> Hang on, why do they always raise their hands? Our country is healthier oh. when everybody is healthier. Someone waved at them and they were like, hey. About something people are giving a chance, given a chance to buy into. Oprah in waved at them from the crowd. <laughs> yeah. and oh, right. She's waving uh, at me, she's government waving at me, should, definitely uh, me. They pay sales taxes. They pay property yeah, okay, so this question about whether a government should provide care to undocumented immigrants. Uh, apparently they all agree. It just kind of surprised me, to be honest, fucking Biden. And we do ourselves no favors by having 11 million undocumented people in our country be unable to access so health care. But of course, the real them. problem is we <laughs> have 11 million Sport them undocumented people with no pathway to citizenship. It makes no sense. And um, the American people... <clears throat> Well, there is a pathway to citizenship, though, isn't to there? This is the crazy thing. If uh, it's not impossible to become a citizen. It's a naturalization no. process. This yeah, as it's called. Which is, if you've, if you've been in America for, I think it's 10 years, maybe 8, I don't know, and you've worked as a productive member of society, blah de blah de blah you can apply for naturalization. Which I don't think gives you citizenship, it just gives you the right to stay there legally. On something the American people want. Yeah. What does that tell you? Assuming ICE doesn't kick you out in the intervening years. Yeah. I'll kick you out when you apply. I think in Sweden you get citizenship if you just lived here for a few years. I don't think so. I think it's eight years pretty universally around the world, though. Okay, sorry, sorry. Five to eight, eight years, I think. You can apply for it, yeah. I'm unsure, though. Could be. I should try applying for that citizenship. See if I can get it. You're not a ditch. Already have it. A ditch. I already have it, but you know, I want to see what the tests are for it. I don't think Do you, you can apply if you already have one. I want to see those tests. I want to see if I will pass those 
Citizenship test. The Does the Netherlands right have citizenship tests? Yes, yes, we do. Oh, interesting. We don't. Yeah. 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 You die, because our tests are bullshit. Yeah. Huh. I've seen questions on it. it oh, like the test they ask people there are ridiculous. <laughs> They're wonderful. I love them. Yeah. I want to be the guy that comes up with the questions. Oh, that's <laughs> such ridiculous. In 1342, the King Frederick of Denmark went to the bathroom. Kind of like, one of them is like, um, I don't know, Lucy Goosey uh, or a <laughs> Emily is a mighty hammer or vacuum cleaning. The TV is on and no one's watching the TV. Um, what should Emily do? I don't know. Fucking keep vacuum cleaning. Uh, turn off the TV. Have a cup of tea. The fuck. The correct answer is was turn off the turn off TV. No, the correct answer is sing the national anthem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that she's Dutch and wallow. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Also, learn the Dutch anthem first because fucking hell, few people know it. Strive to be as anthem. Dutch as possible is the correct answer. Hmm. Oh, hey, we've hit the break. Nice. So, uh, what are your thoughts on this so far? I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, back to you. Back to you, Michael Bennett. <laughs> I hate this debate and I hate the people in it. Uh, I'm too sober for this. Yeah, I don't have My thoughts. Yeah, I don't know, I've decided it's a bit too early to drink. That's people get annoyed. 2.30 p.m. <laughs> Who are the yeah. people wooing in the audience, if not family members? Like, seriously. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. People have like invested all their life savings into their campaigns. And... Yeah, Russian oligarchs who have... <laughs> who has a lot on <laughs> who has a lot at stake. What specifically would you do with the thousands of people who try to reach the United States every day and want a better life through asylum? Shoot them. Immediately <laughs> on January 20th of 2021, I will first put a, of all... Put, put the automatic DACA machine guns on the, on the border. I will immediately buy executive Put on some Van Halen. State, DACA <laughs> yep. DACA bring bring out my big people. truck and throw them out. Get, get one of those those helicopters they used in the Vietnam War with the machine gun. <laughs> Play a rock and roll. On the border. We have so many oh my who are undocumented and have served our country and fought for our democracy. Yeah, I think that would probably keep away a lot of uh, the uh, asylum claimants if you just drop some napalm very strategically <laughs> along Agent the border. Orange. Yeah, just Agent Orange. The 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 biochemical the weapons, fucking yeah. prohibited by the Geneva Convention for just 60 years. Have a whole bunch of, like, you know, small strategic nukes along the border. Just make it very irradiated. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Gillibrand is just praying that Me Too will be brought up at some point? Locking yeah. children up, separating them God, I really want to talk about Louis C.K. I just say that we have to think about this issue in terms of real people. Uh, can you imagine that there are people who are members of the Democratic Party who have one vote, and only one vote, and they decide to vote for Marianne Williamson? <laughs> They're like, I would. this can you imagine is you the would? candidate. I'd, I'd vote or I mom. tell you. Because she has it's like, there is no candidate better than Marianne Williams. <laughs> she is <laughs> simply Donald the Trump one that do? I have to vote for. He says no, look, no other uh, I, I will that say I'm a bit skeptical for the debate performance so far. That one question was a bit... What the, but her performance in Dave Rubin was really good and really won me over here. So, uh, fuck you, Sanders. For I'm too, on the orb train now. For too long, the Democratic, the Scientific, and Spiritual <laughs> uh, Caucus has been ignored. Long live Williamson. Let me get to you in, in, in just a second. I'm sorry. Uh, oh. Governor, day one, thousands of men, women, and children crossed the border asking for asylum for a better life. What I do don't think do? that's accurate. One, day one, I don't believe it's thousands a day. Well, certainly the images we've seen this week. Well, it it was, but compound thousands of what? Uh, he was saying asylum, thousands uh, of people uh, every day on. enter the U.S. If as illegal immigrants. in my life that no. This country would sanction Every day? federal agents to take children from I don't the arms it. of their parents. Oh, maybe it's thousands a month, maybe. Actually, put maybe them when that the uh, what was it called, call the migrant call caravan call thing arrives, that was a big one. But uh, I, I would have told you. Even yes. then, oh, maybe I don't know. Maybe there, that was a big group, but even so, and I don't the, think they the all entered in one day. Well, no, I took a few days, but. 
and make sure that there are the sufficient fil uh, facilities in place so that women and children not separated from their families, the children are with their families. Uh, we have to make sure really that, that they lack completely all facilities. Reform, That's a and they policy begin decision at their job in a to separate them. Way where they're addressing the oh, he's sweating. Needs of the people that he really they doesn't like this question. With along the border. Uh, and I wouldn't like this question. We have to question. make sure ultimately that we provide not just uh, shelter, but okay. food, Can we go back to health care? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ms. Williamson. Yeah. He even Donald brought it Trump back to healthcare at the end. Children, oh my god, did you see when the yeah. camera panned? <laughs> it was like, what? Over to Maria Williamson. Yeah. 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 like you saw her forehead and it was like, no. Just whoops. only the forehead. Yeah. And if you take a, a lot of children and you put them in a detainment center, thus inflicting mm. chronic trauma upon them, that's called child abuse. This is collective child abuse. The grass and mower outside that's crime, causing big audio disturbances is way more interesting than this debate. Uh, no, come on, all members talking. Crimes. Uh, and, Congressman. What President, and what President Trump has done is not only attack these children, not only demonize these immigrants, he is attacking a basic principle of America's moral core. We open Moral core, yes. Well, I this is extremely would not important. look for Amer important to America for any moral cores. <laughs> <laughs> on Looking at the history of America, it's uh, kind of bad. Guys, they all look like they're holding in laughter. It's just a matter of a plan, <laughs> and I haven't heard anybody on yeah. this stage who has talked about American foreign policy in Latin America and how we might have, in the last few decades, contributed to something uh, more. Senator a Joe good Brown. point. Uh, American foreign policy well, has really fucked up Latin America in many ways. Well, is to blame the for about the uh, that he's done I mean, to this yeah. country. current uh, uh, since the fifties. To... Yes, well, he started um, since before that as well, actually. Yeah. Well, the yeah, we talked about like the Spanish. American war in that yeah, the but various interventions and coups yeah, yeah. before then as well. And they have no plan really, when was, was, it, was, it, was this isolationist First, period of the US supposedly? Because they've been fucking around in other countries for as long as they've been Second, around as a country. I mean, really. The isolationist period was between the end of World War One and the beginning of World War Two. That's basically the entire. Even in that period, they still fucked around in other countries, in Cuba, in Mexico. It's like. They just did it less so, uh, maybe, maybe not even. <laughs> It wasn't isolationist, though. What Trump has done? He's, he's diverted the funds away from cross-border terrorism, cross-border human trafficking, drug trafficking, and gun trafficking, and he's given that money to the for-profit prisons. I would not be spending. She really money doesn't in stand out in any memorable way, to lock up children mm. and asylum seekers. Yeah, she doesn't. I suppose it doesn't help that we're just talking over her as well. No, but I mean, like, it doesn't help her. Like everyone has a get the shit on Like everyone has a thing, right? Gillibrand doesn't have a thing because Me Too isn't something people are talking about anymore. Without documentation. Yeah. Can we keep the hands up so oh, we can see I like them? how Biden... Right, uh, uh, do I, uh, that's not just a theoretical uh, exercise. That criminalization, uh, that is the basis for family separation. You do away with that, it's no longer possible. Of course, it wouldn't be possible anyway in my presidency because it is dead wrong. we got to talk about one other thing because the Republican Party... President Buttigieg. In the language doesn't doesn't sound right. Now, our party doesn't, it doesn't. talk about that. Imagine really what the most important uh, reason, factor. We are Imagine what Trump would do with this state, geek. And we stand for people of any religion, <laughs> people of God, religion. About it, yes. We should call out hypocrisy when we see it. And for a party off. that associates itself... I mean, knowing Trump, he'd probably just end up making fun of him for being gay. Okay yeah, God yeah, but other things as well. A nerdy gay guy. I think what would happen if they nominated Buttigieg is Trump would wedgie him so much that he'd make him become a Republican. Like, he'd I'm so wouldn't be surprised <laughs> force if him. literally, if literally on the debate he would go over and just rip, give him a wedgie. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised by that. And people would love it. Uh, would you yeah. decriminalize the crossing thing, the border without documents? The first thing I would do is unite families. I'd surge immediately. You're not answering the question here, Biden. Yeah. Answer region. the fucking question, the Biden. The first thing I would do uh, is I would Let's rearrange talk about the decoy in the over office. Thing. I'm going to get a new a chair. Machine. First thing I would do is open my old library back up. And that was they the closed it last fall. I would kick out all the black people from the White House again. Know, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so uh, the views expressed by individual members of Shit Island. 
does <laughs> not necessarily reflect. I got how it. You I, look was, at I was impersonating <laughs> Biden. <laughs> no, I know, but like he's known as being the best friend of Barack. I'm just saying, but but he's an awful uh, person. Like, which is weird, given you know Biden and race. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Biden said that Barack Obama was one of the good one of the ones. good ones. Yeah, which is <laughs> just, <laughs> that's Jesus, racist. <laughs> Do not need a bed. Uh, Kinda. I mean, it is. Is it implying that most black people are not good? Yeah. The uh, Obama Biden Which administration I think he does believe. More than three million. I wouldn't Americans. be surprised. My question to he you is if it, it doesn't have anything against black people. He just has uh, he doesn't like criminals. Is near his, his children. <laughs> yeah. Or his family. He just happens to know that statistically <laughs> black people are more likely to be criminals and so he's cautious. And the president was yeah. <laughs> exactly. Also, let's not have any policies which addresses that. Yeah. That's I mean, it's probably you know just always been that way. But the fact is yeah, that, look, probably. we should not Let's be look locking into that. people up. We should Let's be not making think sure it. we change the circumstance as we did, why they would leave in the first place. And those who come uh, seeking yeah, speaking asylum, of which, Biden and immediately Obama's have record the on to yeah, the fucking border, them, pretty fucking bad as well. Deported more people than Bush. Second, if you could, if you wish uh, yep. to answer, should <laughs> someone uh, who is here without one up each other, I think. And yeah. that is his only Yeah. Pretty awful. Should that person Pretty awful. be deported? That person I find it hilarious that he's saying we should change the circumstances in other countries the so they don't want to escape when, you know, he Senator, was vice president I, during I the drone strikes all over the world. Yeah, <laughs> like during horrible is, fucking on one, we take propping out up of coups and shit in uh, Latin America as well. It was in Nicaragua, I think. No, it was some coup, I think, in Latin America. I forget which country. I Nicaragua, but I'm not sure where. Yeah, of course, Obama administration supported it. With Biden? Yeah, kind of a part of that administration. Supposedly, I don't know. It's almost like maybe all these people are maybe frauds. Maybe it wasn't there. Mm, yeah. Except for Williams. the guy creeping over this nice old man here. What we have got to do on day yeah. one is invite the presidents and the leadership of Central America and Mexico together. This is a hemisphere Thank you. problem that we have got to address. Congressman Swalwell. How hasn't Oprah endorsed Williamson yet? No. If <laughs> someone is here without documents, and that is their only Psst, offense. Bernie. Is that eight person letter word for a green be? vegetable? No. That person can be a part of this great um, um, American uh, experience. I, I believe, I believe that person it's, can uh, contribute it's my a tomato. tomato. Which is one of the most diverse <laughs> in America. I want Oatman's answer on this. When people contribute, eight letter word for a green vegetable. In the shadow economy. Orkman? Day one for me. No, that's six words. Are no, that's his number one. President, though. Soul cabbage. There's nothing he can do a family, cage a child, or a existence by weaponizing the census. And there is nothing Spiritual that he cannot do in the courts and that I will not do as that's president not, that's to that's reverse that's that and to yeah, make sure that families if you believe in your heart. always belong together. Senator Harris. <laughs> Fair. We need to refine the the well, the the, um, the wonderment no, of America that was. Should not be deported, and, and I actually <laughs> this was one of the very few. Issues How come in in stores with. they sell they sell um, Wonder the Bread but not Wonder um, Cucumbers and Wonder <laughs> Tomatoes? <laughs> and and we need to bring back the Wonder Cucumbers. <laughs> I was Attorney General of California. I led the second largest Department of Justice. The Wonder Couscous. This isn't just a health care issue. It's also a spiritual issue. And the and food is you, issue, and I the climate is you, and I'll stop talking now. Because the policy now. was to allow deportation. <laughs> I mean, you're talking of Kamala <laughs> Harris and you know, fuckery. Yeah, I don't give a shit. So as Attorney General and the Chief Law Officer of the State of California, I issued a directive to the sheriffs of my state that they did not have to comply with detainers and instead should make decisions based on the best interest of public safety of their community. Because what I saw... And That's I was the vaguest fucking order day. you could give. I was tracking yeah. it. <laughs> That's the vaguest. You would just be like, uh, uh, she, she told her sheriffs to not, uh, to, to not, they don't have to comply with um, ICE, the deportation the people, but they should do what they find is in the best public interest. Which, I mean, like... Would two people ruin, ever read that up, order, quote unquote, the, street, the same way? Like you could have a, 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 a some sheriff who's like, "Yep, that's with completely within the the public order to deport to these that, people." Like it's not an order; it's that's, nothing. That, wow, that's pathetic. He's basically just saying, "Do do whatever you think is best." Yeah, so it's not an order to make a decision for you. 
That's a. Yeah, I'm just gonna kick this down to you. That's advice at best. Yeah, you don't, don't have like that. Almost China. worse. US yeah, than not China doing anything. Intellectual property and party leaders on both sides. Kamala Harris, 2020, China, almost worse than doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> cost of goods, uh, that's that's good slogan. Yeah. To start off. yeah. How would you stand up to China? I think that first of all, the the <laughs> biggest you, the, 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 the biggest China. threat to our national Nuke security right now is Russia, not China. Yep. Fucking Second, bomb them all to hell. China, did it in Vietnam? We'll do it in China. Because of yep. what they've done. We're going to give the spread the audience to Taiwan. That's how we're going to fucking stand right up to, to China. On yeah. On China, but I just had a look through the, the comment way. section, and the Yang Gang is out in power. They're out. They're showing. Yang has Yang has even talked. He talked like once, and he, he like just brought up UBI again. Well. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, brought it up. I, that's what they're mostly like complaining about. <clears throat> hey, Yang people, people who like Yang, go fuck yourselves. She was <laughs> <laughs> you cynical <laughs> assholes. In Poland. And for Donald Trump, yeah, I agree. No, nah, I'm, I'm not going to give it. Yeah, no, fuck Yang. Fuck Yang, Yang. UBI, bad policy, how he's going to fucking do it. Worse. Million you just want a new Xbox. That had like, fuck you. Dream act that's yeah. Ever been conceived think for a moment how does it actually affect the fucking Senate. social safety net. Yeah, I mean, bad. it's, it's the, the dumbest justification of liking anyone is because he's he's offering you money. Like, that's what they do in Eastern Europe for elections. They go, vote for me and I'll give you $100. Like, that's not democracy or an ideology or any kind of belief. It's literally buying your votes and, like, promising to dismantle all the shit you already have, which is very inadequate. Like, Yang sucks, unironically. He's so cynical, and you're so cynical for liking him and promoting him. And again, value ad attacks. Fucking horrible. Yeah, just, like, I mean, I find it really surprising that they're even, like, socialists on my channel. Yeah, I know, that's what I mean. He's support Yang, when Yang is, like, a fervent anti-socialist. He hates socialists. Socialism and, that, and social democracy. About he, he is. Yeah, it does. That is now, the fucking China, like do, universal uh, basic income is like literally um problems, what's his face? The the, the, the libertarian asshole from, from like forty years ago. Uh, uh, Barry Goldwater. I met with a farmer no, um, not Barry. Milton uh, Friedman. Economist. Milton Friedman. Yes, he came up with the UBI. Oh. Well, he had a thing on the UBI anyway. Yeah. I don't know why like when you said libertarian, I thought you were talking about like a libertarian socialist. No, 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 no. I mean like a ANCAP type of situation. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure he's even an ANCAP, but yeah, Milton Freeman, yeah, he had the fucking UBI ID, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, negative income tax or whatever the fuck it was. It's like uh, Huey Long again. The, you know, uh, right wing populism. Yeah, like yeah. social spending or like sharing our wealth or whatever is the only way to not become communists. Yeah. It's but their like, fundamental it's like, economic model isn't going to change. UBI is his way of not Midwest. caving in uh, to folks who aren't, social democracy uh, in the and dismantling it. Okay, and also dismantling it, yes. Yeah. And <clears throat> that's Yang Gang, and that's how you pay for it. It's awful. It's awful. Yes. And Americans are going to pay on average $800 more a year because of these tariffs. Meanwhile, I can't wait to read all the Yang Gang comments though, the video. $800 a year for tariffs. That's not if all that, mattered was the that much when you consider that like the things but that are hands, imported from China are like electronics. Hmm. Is being held up as an alternative to ours because ours looks so chaotic. Well, how, wait, eight hundred and ten. Right what? Our internal division. Eight hundred dollars a year in tariffs against China. In our own domestic competitive. Just he's like, right, yeah, but it, but also he's like, well, like food products and, and necessary stuff isn't and really affected by the tariff because that's not imported from China. We it's just like phones and, and computers and stuff. Thank you. At home Thank you for your it's like eight hundred dollars a year on average. It's like okay. Oh, it doesn't sound that bad. Well, I mean, no, the fucking uh, UBI is going to pay for it, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have two hundred left. I'm going to go pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, not going to miss much. Let's just keep rolling, Jewel. Yeah, let's try to get through this. Yeah. <laughs> this torture. I shouldn't have done this sober. That's Me neither. I, I'm here. regretting that we agreed to do this.
This yeah, is we, so we should have done this at night when we had like rum. But, okay, well, ne we know for next time now. Next time we're gonna do one of these debates. We're gonna have alcohol. We need alcohol. Let's <laughs> get through this. Hey, it's Rachel Maddow. Rachel, hey, and the fucking every mom's favorite. Tornado. I don't like either of these people. Me neither. Let's quickly recap. I particularly don't like Chuck Talk, though. He's 20 candidates qualified worse, for this first I think. debate. We've heard from uh, 10 of them. That's it, I don't watch either of them matches. Every now and then, when I do find right clips of these tonight, people, we'll Chuck Talk tends to be worse. To answer direct questions. 30 seconds for follow ups. But he if doesn't this, seem to. Because of this large field of candidates, not every person seems to be more of like a robot. But the less audience reaction there is, the more time they will all I don't watch the news, bro. I don't, I don't watch. No, I watch the news. I won't watch, like, NBC or, uh... I thought these people on MSNBC. That's the same thing. Really? Yeah, fucking hell. NBC owns MSNBC. Why are there two? Wait, why are there two? Because MSNBC is all politics, and, uh, NBC is, uh, only the news show, and then, you know, shitty sitcoms. In South Bend, is now 6% black. In a city that is 26% black. Why has that not improved over your two terms as mayor? Oh yeah, why because haven't you fucking problem. dealt with racism? My community is in anguish right now. Because of an officer... Yeah, yes they are, because, you know, you fired the fucking black officer. chief of police. That was something you maybe shouldn't have done. It's kind of bad, you know. Knife, but he didn't but have I mentioned my favorite book Oh yeah, book he exposed is racism within your police department. Yes, so you fired a black guy. Ah! All That's leadership that I want for this country. Well, I mean, if he was corrupt, or I don't know, I haven't heard about it. <laughs> yeah, I think he was just trying to, like, to cover up, like, a political scandal and we'll making it, it worse in the process. Sounds like a Democrat. I don't know. Yeah. And until we move policing out from the shadow of systemic racism, Whatever this particular incident teaches us, we will be left with the bigger problem of the fact that there's a wall of mistrust put up one racist act at a time, not just from what's happened in the past, but from what's happening around the country in the present. It threatens the well-being of every community. And so, I am determined so this is, to bring about is this Pete Budget saying all cops are bastards and we should dismount the police? Where'd I miss? Uh, well, Pete Buttigieg is going on the anarchist train saying all cops are bastards and we should dismount the police state. So, that's cool. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Pete, if you're on our Discord server, please identify yourself. No, that would be nice. That would be fun. That would be cool having Hickenlooper on the server. I would like to know which anime avatar you're using. Yeah. <laughs> the community came That'd together and created yeah. an office of the Independent Monitor, a civilian oversight commission. We diversified Hang on. the why, police. Why are they not putting the name? Ah, oh, there we go. Hick and Loops. The name is on there. Yes, the Loop. The, real question that the Loop gang. Is why Running Hick and Loops around his opponents. How old is he? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to respond to that. This guy loves so Hick, Hick and Loops so much he he's, he's, he's looping. The FOP just denounced uh, me for too much accountability. We're I'll shut up now. So under Indiana law, this will be investigated. Nothing from the crowd. Be accountability for Nothing. But you're the mayor, you should fire the chief. Uh, he was right, though. Like, you shouldn't home. have fired the fucking chief. No important. one reacted. That was painful. I don't think anyone really knows really what's going on, but it's a good deep, point you made, though. <laughs> it's like, yeah, justice. shouldn't have fired the fucking police, system, yeah, chief. I recently system. met and the, the leader of the Swedish the um, left party. For slavery, ah. this the Swedish reason. Socialist Party. I do not uh, believe that That's cool. It's surreal to meet politicians, because before that I'd met the... Or I had encountered the leader of the Sweden Democrats. And I was like... Like, no, I'm like five millimeters away from his face. Oh, wow. Uh, like, he walked past me and I didn't notice him. And we all like bumped into each other. Huh. And then I and the way you describe it, it, sounds like you were making, making out. Okay. Five millimeters <laughs> from his face. I mean, so that may have happened. 
Ooh. That's yeah. irrelevant to the story. <laughs> that was this weird story uh, a few honestly, years ago in the Netherlands where, I, um, like, our prime minister he was cycling around for some reason. That in itself baffles me a bit, to be honest, it was just cycling. Um, but someone got hit by a truck and he, like, tried to help this person, you know, stay alive until, like, the ambulance came. Uh, it may, but imagine, like, getting hit by a truck and your fucking prime minister standing over you trying to help you out. Like, what the fuck? Must be um, weird. I do not believe you are a racist. That makes me. And I oh agree man. With you oh hey, this the the racist thing exchange. Cameron's gonna to call out Biden for racism. Who's gonna but call out who? Biden who? for being a segregationist. Oh all right. To hear you talk about the reputation. Oh, he's so of sad. United States senators. <laughs> oh, he's got a guy. He's almost, he almost crying. Look at him. Look at him. He's so sad. <laughs> he's like, I'm and sorry. I was a super that, racist segregationist. You also well, I wouldn't go that for that. He's sorry yeah, about no. it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's trying. You know, yeah, like he's pretending. There was a little girl in sorry. California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools, and she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. Oh, damn. So I will tell Shit. you that on this subject... <laughs> Look at him. It's like, it like, oh, like, oh, this is going to be really bad for me. <laughs> Gone for that throne. He's just thinking about his poll numbers. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> you can see the panic in his eyes like, oh, fuck! Sir, just talking about herself. Don't worry, Biden. Biden. No, no one watches these things. Don't worry, Biden. Uh, you can, can imagine he if he was like, well, technically I didn't advocate for segregation, I just thought that it should be up to states to decide whether they want to bust their children or not. Oh, he does <laughs> give that trying answer. to argue the point. Uh, oh, he does give that answer. That's what, that, that's what I mean. That's him. I really want Rocky's uh, uh, trainer to be in Biden's corner. You got it, Rock. You got it. Just, no one watches these things. Just, just vamp, say something dumb. No one's going to care. Okay, let's see him. I came out and I left a good law firm to become a public defender. When in fact... Public offender? Public offender. flames because of uh, assassination of Dr. King, number one. Now, number two, as the U.S. as excuse me, as the uh, uh, Vice President of the United States, I work with a man who, in fact, we work very hard to see to it we dealt with black. these issues. Yeah, I was just going to say, as Vice President of the United <laughs> States, I work with black. He was black, and you could tell <laughs> because you had a really black so voice. No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you could tell because he could dunk. I mean, uh, he wasn't even a criminal. No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> he really was one of the good ones. <laughs> God, this guy sucks. I continue to think fundamental changes in civil rights, and those civil rights, by the way, include not just only African Americans, but the LGBT community. But, they, Vice President, hang on, don't oh, fucking you use me here to justify your racism. That you were wrong to oppose busing in America. Then, no, do you agree? I did not oppose busing in America. What I opposed is busing ordered by the Department of Education. That's what I opposed. Well, I there did was not a oppose. failure of, of states to, to integrate no, public schools in America. I was part of the, the second class to integrate Berkeley, California public schools almost two decades after Brown v. Board of Education. Because your city council made And I think decision. they shouldn't so have busted you. <laughs> also, I really want to clip what just happened a moment ago of you faking <laughs> through them the arguing team. about <laughs> racism. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't they think he would right. actually t <laughs> fucking <laughs> try to, like, uh, yes, I know. Obviously, he should have answer. conceded and been like, yes, I did that, that was bad. But instead, he's like, yeah. um, excuse me, what you're saying is slightly inaccurate. I Whoa, don't blame me for, for state rights. segregation. <laughs> like, it's your, I was for city council rights. <laughs> <laughs> City council uh, should be able to decide themselves if they want to be racist or not. Yes, we want municipal segregation. That's where, you know, the rights should be. Not with the state, with the municipality. Like a great confederacy yeah, once said, the I am on the side of state rights. You said on the day you launched your campaign that voters uh, should focus on what people awful. stand for. Not awful. a candidate's race or age or sexual orientation. Many Democrats are I didn't advocate for slavery, I just advocated for a state's rights to have slaves. <laughs> <laughs>
It's right, completely I different. I don't want do slaves. They asked for the municipality to have, have that right. I don't want slaves. I don't have anything to use slaves this. for. I just say. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how expensive a slave is these days? <laughs> I couldn't uh, afford one, even if I wanted one. My local human expensive. trafficker quoted me a price a few years ago, and I was like, damn, inflation's gotten crazy. <laughs> when my people was uh, buying his first slaves, I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> So while I was growing up, my housemate mom actually used to be a slave. It's so fucking funny that the most progressive Democrat to ever run is neck to neck with one of the most conservative Democrats right yeah. now. It's yeah. beautiful. What a but fucking both, party. Like, both Biden and Bernie are saying they're the most progressive. <laughs> yeah, that's like, Biden funny. had that <laughs> ad where he was like, I'm the most progressive Democratic candidate. It's like, but yes. by what fucking measurement are you the most progressive? Well, by the standard of segregation. <laughs> If you only look at Democrats right, until 1953, I am the most progressive Democrat to ever run for president. <laughs> Even that would be true. Uh, if you compare me to the Ku Klux Klan, I'm very progressive. Yes, that, uh, I will grant him that. Yes, he is more progressive than the Ku Klux Klan. To actually take corruption to get money out of the Biden. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Joe Biden 2020. If we do that, he worked for a black man once. Biden 2020, less racist than the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Corporate corruption that runs Washington. And the first constitutional okay. amendment to do that was introduced by me when I was a young senator. Thank, thank, thank you, Vice President. We want to show. Oh, let me try to look good again. Air horns for you. On the issue of partisan gridlock. President Obama promised in 2012 that after his This guy talks so much more than Yang, and it's making me really happy. That did not I have no idea. I still Good. don't. Bennett, the less Biden Yang talks, the, the better. Thing. I want more Orc Mom. The Kick comments of like the Yang, video are saying that have the moderators Orc turned off Yang's microphone. <laughs> the the one nice. time they asked him a question, he was like, what? <laughs> yeah. you're, you're talking to me? <laughs> oh, right. Debate. Right. As long as yeah, as long as it was up somewhere else. Oh, yeah, universal basic income. Right, that thing. The only thing I'm known so for. Look, it's easy, you idiots. Thousand dollars a month. Thank me later. Get rid of, of everything well. the federal government is spending on, and we'll replace it with thousand bucks. Thank you. Like thousand buckaroos. So you want it? You know it. And everyone's like, like, well, I would like a thousand dollars, actually. It's like two thousand pieces of high-quality bubble gum. You could probably buy an Xbox. Buy like two Xboxes. Nice. Pool your money and buy a car in... And the uh, attack 60 on voting rights in Shelby versus Holder uh, yeah. is something we need to deal with. All of those things has happened since <laughs> Senate, uh, Vice President Biden You can buy a house when you're retired. And we face structural <laughs> problems that we have to overcome with a broad coalition. It's the only way we can do it. We need to root out the corruption in Washington, expand okay. people's right to get to Time the to polls, and I think then we can succeed. Vice President Biden, uh, 30 seconds. I want to, I, a I broad want to coalition, did you say? Uh, it does Coalition sound of the like willing. You haven't seen what's been <laughs> happening in the United States Senate over the last 12 years. It didn't happen. Why? I have seen what happened just since we were vice president. We needed three votes to pass an $800 billion recovery act that kept us from going into depression. I got three votes. Which was an awful bill. The worst bill. It put all of the cost on the middle class and bailed out all these huge companies which never paid it back. I would have been cool if they fucking nationalized all these companies. I mean, nice. Yeah, but that's communism. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah, yeah but that's communism. Yeah, true. Damn. <laughs> Foiled again, communist Jules. I would like to know, because that motherfucker thing is that, you know, when he's in, he's going to somehow be able to work with the fucking Republicans. Dude, you were vice president. I mean, are you going to say that you would be better at this than Obama? To be fair, he didn't pay attention when he was vice president. Well, no, why would he? I mean, fucking, you know, he had a black guy doing all this work for him. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> and he didn't even have to pay him. <laughs> 
agreement because that deal extended uh, almost all those bushes. I'm not against banning, banning slavery. I'm against the federal government banning slavery. If your city council wants to ban slavery, that's okay. It's a little weird, but I'll accept it. <laughs> tax cut had to be passed is because they had to pay back their donors. You heard it. They actually said those words. So the corruption in Washington is real. And it is something that makes every one of the plans we've heard it's about scary. over the last several months mm -hmm. impossible. Yep. And I have the most comprehensive approach to do it with clean elections, publicly fund elections. So we restore the power of our democracy into there the hands of There are problems the with Not our democracy, I think. We were talking about well, issues. definitely problems imagine with my democracy, yes. Florida, imagine the Parkland kids having as much Wait a minute, are we talking about the surfer or um, as the Koch brothers or the no. MRA? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, check out the Discord surfer in the link below in the description. Yeah, we have a functioning democratic system. Yes, I only occasionally purge my opponents. <laughs> That's going to be clips for my re-election, fucking hell. Now that there is a conservative majority on the Supreme Court, several Republican-controlled states have passed laws to severely restrict or even ban abortion. One of those laws could very well make oh, it to the Supreme Court. Oh, is Joe Biden going to bring up Biden's going to no, Biden's going to bring up how he doesn't want the government to pay for abortions. If struck down in the court while he's bad. Hmm. Yeah. More importantly, my vape stopped working. Who believes for a oh shit! Yeah, you're fucked. Right to this is something we should be talking about. Is a constitutional right. Yeah, I do want to hear Biden's answer though, because I imagine it will be really bad. Yeah. On that right. we will do I imagine Bernie's answer is good, so yeah, we all know it's good. Way. Second of all, let me make let me make let me make a promise here. You ask about litmus test. My litmus test is I will never appoint any nominate any justice to the Supreme Court unless that justice is one hundred percent clear he or she will defend Roe v. Wade. Third of all, I do not believe in packing the court. We got a terrible 5 four majority conservative court right now. But I do believe that constitutionally we have the power to rotate judges to other courts. And that brings in new blood into the Supreme Court and a majority, I hope. Okay, I'm down with that, that, but also that pack the courts. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope Bernie comes out and it's full like, we should pack the court, put in like a hundred communists in that court. We can change the entire I'm fucking down. constitution if we want. Yeah, no, I'm down. Let's expand the Supreme Court to about 20 people. Why well, all get to a point? Yeah. <laughs> If Roe is gone, what could you do as president we to preserve a Ah, that reminds me. Buttigieg's plan for like the Supreme Court. Here, Fucking awful. No, he wants to have like a 15 person Supreme Court, five of which will be nominated by the Democrats, other five by the Republicans, and the other five will be like, if she wants it. I don't know, done by committee, I guess, of those two. <laughs> which is obviously just going to skew very Republican because we know the Democrats are just going to, you know. Cave in on this shit. President Trump and the Republican and also just entrenches the Republican Party within like right the now. judicial uh, it is system, which is bad. Yeah, the Supreme Court isn't supposed to be partisan. Among Democrats, well, it isn't supposed to be, but it is very. Yeah, we have to but stop like he's his suggestion would make it, you know, de jure. Well, well, yeah, because it goes to the There's that as well. When the door is closed, do you think Trump is in Trump Tower right now, uh, praying that Buttigieg will be the rights. nominee so he can call him Booty Judge? That's how we got to hide. <laughs> that's how the hide was My opponent, the that's a Booty Judge. Parties. Then it's not a bad fucking big name. During the ACA it's more crazy than I came up with, so like good on you, Trump. Other women to make sure that contraception wasn't sold down the river or abortion services. And so, what we need to know is imagine this one question. When we beat President Trump and Mitch McConnell walks into the over office, God forbid, to do negotiations, who do you want, when that door closes, to be sitting behind that desk to fight for women's rights? I have been the fiercest advocate for uh, women's I reproductive rights for over a decade. And I promise you, now she can start when that door too. closes, Maybe. I will guarantee okay. women's reproductive Senator rights Senator no matter what. Uh, I want you. Senator <laughs> Sanders to sit down here. Climate guys, Senator Harris, um, I'm addressing just because a woman sitting there doesn't mean, you know, a woman's going to be good for women's reproductive rights. Some women are just awful. Here's a good example of an awful, just horrible woman. 
Last night, voters heard uh, yeah, but Barack Obama was black and he ended racism. Explain ah, specifically yes. what you're saying. I mean, you know, he did manage to work with Biden, which is a pretty huge step in overcoming racism. represents an existential threat to us as a species. And the fact that we have a president of the United States who has embraced science fiction over science fact will be to our collective peril. Uh, science fiction over science fact. <laughs> embrace <laughs> science fiction. It's just like reading the, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in the Oval <laughs> Office. It's like, we can't have a president who reads science fiction. Yeah, this is uh, we'll just watching Star Trek all day. Like, <laughs> oh, this show's making a lot of <laughs> sense for our energy policy. Yeah. I'm watching this really stupid <laughs> show called Star Trek. <laughs> Right now, that's All they do Star is sit and talk. It is why I believe on day one and after <laughs> Do you think we should invest in teleporters for our national infrastructure? I would like I to be beamed like up. And frankly, we have being beamed up sounds like fun. We talked about you asked before what is the greatest <laughs> national security threat we, we to the United States. We need a space force. Trump. We need more spaceships. Like the one in Star Trek. Go on voyages to explore distant worlds. None of the talking or the Democrat threat. stuff. He denies the science. You want to talk about <laughs> North Korea? Real threat in terms of nuclear arsenal. But what does he do? He uh, yes. North, North Korea, Korea threat. real <laughs> fucking threat. Yes, of course. <laughs> you want to talk That's, about yeah, nah. he's he's shaking so any, in my boots. Any day now, North Korea is gonna invade Hawaii. When it comes to a yeah, threat to our like their longest range in Europe. I think. I'm, reach Hawaii you, and Senator. that's about it. Uh, can you think of a more inconsequential plan, debate ever than this one? Pearl Harbor 2, Electric term, Boogaloo. How is this like honestly, can you think of it's on NBC, which is predominantly change. watched by Democrats, well, featuring only Democrats, circle jerking right about the same issues where they basically agree hey, on, on everything. On. There was that thing that's where Biden was racist. I mean, that's been, that's happened. I mean, the rest has been kind of, yeah, but sure, Biden being racist. Racist. That was good. But I give give Biden a microphone in 10 minutes and he'll say something racist. Well, yes, <laughs> they did. And it happened. He's like Boris Johnson. Parts of California on fire right here in Florida. The Boris Johnson's uh, campaign team actually did its best to keep him away from the press and microphones. Because they knew that if they let him talk, he would just blow it up. Like... Yeah, he would lose all his support because he would say something racist. This is happening in the middle of the smart move. Yeah, we've got to be dramatically. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking Joe Biden's team should do the same. Just keep him like, just keep him away. Let his like team handle everything. I think yeah. they try. Yeah. Like, don't let him talk. The more he talks, the more uh, his numbers drop. Yeah, just make yeah. him talk about Obama all the time. Post pictures on Twitter of Obama and him shaking hands and hope for the best. Yeah, don't actually let him talk about it though. Then I'll say Obama was one of the good ones again. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't let him talk about Obama. Just show him next to Obama. Yeah, like silent videos with, um, with like music playing with him. Like, yeah, with other people Obama. talking about him. <laughs> yeah, <Yes. laughs> it's like campaign manager talks about him. I've known Biden for 52 years. Get some sure, he's a racist, but I'm cut. <laughs> Well, I share the same uh, urgency. I, I don't think he's a racist. I think he's a race realist. <laughs> oh, God. I just <laughs> looked at something. <laughs> We're only halfway through this train wreck. Uh, no, yeah. no, no, no. I, I looked. It, it's job, done in about 20 minutes. It is. And then there's a, a oh, long God. discussion not that I'm not seeing. Yeah. We have to look Let's at see. what really will Oh yeah, no, it, it ends in about not 20 minutes, that's a lie. It's still going on for 40 minutes. Oh god. Well, 30, 35. I mean, great. We're still here for a while. God damn. <laughs> Working with the oil okay, like, so like, we, we, like we were saying when you were away, guys. Um, next debate, we're bringing alcohol. Because <laughs> I mean, this, this goes against your Geneva Conventions. If you look at, at, at the real problem, CO2, the worst polluters in CO2 is China, is the United States, and then it's concrete in its exhalation. And beyond that, what? I think we've got to recognize um, that sure. it's yeah. China, then the yeah. US, then <laughs> concrete. The nation of concrete, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, was that? I agree. I concrete, mean, where else would kind of bad come for the environment? What's like saying um, the worst producers of CO2 are factories? <laughs> yeah. The cars are bad. Yeah, about I what's agree. The best way to tackle climate change, but if we're honest, many Republicans, including the president, are still uh, let's not see, sure if they free public transportation. Um, so, stop expanding of car infrastructure. Car let's see, getting rid of parking no requirements for construction. Yes, number one. 
upzoning. What does Biden say? Ah, a wind farm, of course. We drove down the price, the competitive price of both of those renewable and re renewable sources. I would immediately insist that we, in fact, build 500,000. Hey, I looked this up. That's not even true. United States, America, China had the biggest wind farm. China has so the biggest solar farm. Oh, but also future. the biggest wind farm, the year, 20, I think. 20, 20, 20, I looked up a fact check of this 20, 20, thing. It's oh. still true anyway, sure what he said. Well then. <laughs> He has the the US has the biggest wind farm in America. Uh, yeah, probably. I think in the like you know the, the Western Hemisphere, um, yeah, yeah, probably the biggest. Uh, climate accord. I would up the ante in that accord, which it calls for, because we make up 15 percent of the problem. 85 percent of the world makes up the rest, and so we have to have someone who knows how to corral the rest of the world, bring them together, and get something done, like we it's, did in our what? administration. Senator Sanders, I Why is he trying to lay the blame on everyone else? It's like the U.S. stands for 15 percent of the world's problems. The rest of the world really needs to get together and fucking get, you know, fix this shit. How, where, what is this 15% based on? Like, I don't know, 15% carbon emissions? Total emissions, maybe, yeah. Tell the rest yeah. Of the world Which is crazy when you think about how big some other countries are. Yeah, uh, yeah. relatively how small the US is, too. <laughs> and is to yeah, in population. Well, in population. Yeah, in population, they are, like, the worst. Energy efficiency and sustainable energy. The future of the planet rests on us doing this. Before we go, hang on. Before we leave this topic. So, yeah, uh, free public transportation. There we go. That's a good step. Pass the torch to the generation that's going to feel the effects no, of climate change. The Pass the torch to the generation the that's inventive free. enough. Thank you, Before we leave this topic, here's something. Uh, take on Amazon as well, because they're yeah, fucking horrible. Just the only person yeah. who said anything about Amazon so far has been Yang. Uh, what, did he praise them? What happened? <laughs> no, he said uh, that oh, wait, uh, Mom. they should pay taxes. I'm, I have a plan to mm. get a man to the moon, and so we're going to do it, and I think we can all work together, and maybe we can get a man on the moon. And John Kennedy said, by the end of this decade, we are going to put a man on the moon. Because John Kennedy was back in the day when politics included the people, and included imagination, <laughs> and included great dreams, and yeah. included okay. great, great plans. Sure. And I have had a plan. So, not making the political She's plans. talking right into the hearts of wine moms and boomers. And so it's pretty wine mom, the or, or mom saying, you know, we have to, by she the end, said, of my JFK second term. was, was back in the time when politics involved the people, but wasn't that before the civil rights movement? That was before um, the Civil Rights Act, at least. Yeah. Just yeah. The next Hang on. Thank you, Ms. White. Yeah. yeah. Like, Wait, politics we involved the people, just killed. not the black people. Oh, yeah. killed in 63. And uh, Lyndon B. Johnson 63. passed the that Civil is, Rights Act. Yeah, before, yeah. Civil Rights Act, yeah. Only. Oh, yeah, yeah, and a real please. people's person here, you know, really? fucking President JFK. JFK said multiple times he didn't want to pass the Civil Rights Bill because he was afraid it would hurt his re-election. Yeah, no shit. Fucking real man of the people here. Piece of shit. Healthcare. I will say, I think he's probably not the worst change. president at all. You, you know, fucking Cuban nuclear crisis. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think he was the worst. Up the world, it's, like. it's, he was only really only president for about two and a half years. So, like, yeah, and that he nearly blew up the world with the Cuban nuclear crisis. I mean, bad as Trump is, he hasn't started the Cuban nuclear crisis. I don't think the U.S. started the, the Cuban nuclear crisis, though. Uh, they were a big part of it. Yeah, but I mean, uh, if if the military had had its way, they would have bombed Cuba, and he was like, "Chill, guys." Oh, I guess. The, the yeah, world would have ended. The U.S. were also the ones who put nukes in Turkey on the Soviet border. That, that might have been Eisenhower, though. Oh, I like that. Was okay. pretty I don't know, I don't know who it was. Mm. It probably, I don't think it was Kennedy. I think it was before him. Uh, well, I've like, Kennedy's still fucking bad. <laughs> I mean, he's not great. He, he, did, he didn't choose to remove them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vietnam. Yeah. That there's only one or two issues out there. This I'm not saying there's one or two. Enormous crises. Senator we Sanders. A political revolution. Didn't People he do this okay. like in another debate? Yeah, I'm just gonna give him a little some, bit more time here. Someone, someone else, issue, maybe? Mr. Someone Mr. else did that? Yeah. Where so they were asked a question, like, if there were only, like, two issues, or two things you could do in the White House, and they, they answered, like, there are way more than two issues that we need to worry about. It's like, yeah, but that's not the question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't buy that. Biden wants to reinstate the Confederacy. The first thing I would do mm -hmm. That's his first sure issue. That we defeat 
Donald Oh, Trump. yeah. <laughs> yeah, this again. Yeah, if I'm president, my first issue is to defeat Trump. Motherfucker. Well, if you, in this hypothetical scenario, you're my you president, you've already president. done it. When are you expecting this presidency to happen? Like, after Trump's second term? Like, <laughs> yeah. what's... Which would speed us up on climate change, because if you get the boot off of people's throats, they'll okay. focus on climate change much more clearly. Governor Hickenlooper? I would do a collaborative approach to climate change, and I would pronounce it well before the election to make happening? sure we don't reelect yeah. the worst president in American history. And Ms. Williams? No, wait, Thomas there's still, there's more. Prime Minister of New Zealand, who said that her goal is to make New Zealand the place where it's the best place in the world for a child to grow up. And I will tell her girlfriend you are so on, because the United States of America is going thank to be the best place in the world for a child to grow up. Ms. You know, we are going thank to you. Have you guys were close with the short, at least Aww. it was shorter Aww. responses. Not at all. All right. <laughs> C minus. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 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 well, fought so far on this fucking train wreck. I want to go home. Still hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, uh, thanks again to NBC for sponsoring this uh, episode. <laughs> uh, it's much appreciated. Please don't sue us for copyright infringements. Welcome we killed the democracy. No, they're going to continue the questioning. I was right. Still. We are, in a second, are going to have a question from Lester in the audience, <laughs> but that was just a fake out. <laughs> uh, we're still 25 minutes Got left of this. Go to the issue of guns and uh... Congressman Swalwell. Yeah, Among have a vape. Candidates, you have a unique position on gun reform. You're proposing that the government should buy back every assault weapon in America. Did you know vaping is good for you? How do you Children especially. Vaping, especially have you heard that vaping is really good for you, flashback. just health-wise? Keep your pistols. Yeah. Yeah. Take up vaping today. Shotguns, but we can take the most no, dangerous actually don't. weapons from the most but, dangerous people. Yeah. We have the NRA on the ropes because of the moms, because of the Brady Group, because of Giffords, because of March for Our Lives. But I'm the only candidate on the I feel stage like they're hypnotizing me with their bullshit talk. Every single assault weapon in the uh, it's all yeah, just it's the same an example the other of bullshit talk. Like, what the fuck is even I love, I love when they say, I'm rifles. the only candidate they on this stage that will do this very specific thing that I am the only person to think of. Yeah, and everyone's yeah, saying the right. same thing. Okay. Okay. Is the Biden is the only candidate on that stage who will support states' rights on segregation. I hate the way they talk about people. Like it's about, this is possible because of hard-working moms, dads who get up early, the hard-working middle class of America. Shut up. Say what you want to do, don't, don't talk about people like their numbers. Like, we don't have to live this way. We must be a country who loves our children more than we love our guns. We must be a country that love our children? Like that's got the Peter fall over here. Oh my God! Like that's a thing. Like, in oh. yeah. In which you said, quote, <laughs> the federal government must pass a law that says everyone must love their children. State should <laughs> no. Has your thinking um, changed since then? Child protective services are the most valuable commodity. Look, we have a gun. Children are a renewable energy. Children are biodegradable. Uh, the, the bones, though, they, they, they stick around for a while. A yeah, but they're still biodegradable. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in fact, the hey, those bones disappear. Yeah, but they're and preserved in very uh, particular conditions. Uh, Most right. bones, so they disappear. Bone, uh, okay, I'll have to keep that, that in mind next time I'm with someone. Universal <laughs> background, we end the gun show loophole, we end the straw man provision, and I believed in 1988, and I believe today. Why would you that assault why would weapons, you assault on weapons, why would assault you leave? weapons are Senator, weapons you leave are from the military, the streets, and that they should not be on why the streets leave? of America. You would leave, your plan leaves them on the streets. You leave 15 million on we the streets. We ban the sale, and we ban the sale will and you distribution, buy them back? and that's what I believe will for you, many years. Will you buy them back? If and, people and, want to buy, buy, if the government wants to do that, if people want to You're going to be the back, government. Yes. Will you buy them back? Yeah. Senator Harris, we're going to give you 30 seconds. Thank you. I think your Did idea he say yeah? Yeah. Well, and I will say that there are a lot of great so. ideas. Right. The problem is Congress She's no longer the fucking swallow. There's no the only person who would do a buyback now. 
I will give Can't the United States Congress 100 well. days to pull their act together, bring all these good ideas together, and put a bill on I my hate desk all these signature. People. And if they do not, uh, I will take executive action. I hate this one the and most, I will actually. Put in place <laughs> I hate the most Who do I hate the most? Background check policy hmm. we've had. Uh, well, I will maybe Biden. The Biden's ATF awful. To take the licenses of gun I, dealers I, who violate the law. I think and I, I hate Yang the most. Yang to not be awful. That's the thing. Biden doesn't pretend to not be anything besides Biden. I think I hate Yang the most. Tell you, I have hugged Gang is still irrelevant for me to read. Really the hate. mothers of homicide yeah. victims, Part and I have thing. attended more. Gamma House is semi relevant, and it she pretends enough. to be like it good. And she's there have been plenty awful. of good ideas uh, from the United States Congress. I mean, There's she's no one of the, the only two President people on stage action. who are relevant are Biden and Bernie. The rest are polling yeah, at lower than 10%. Oh, yeah, but, you know, as people know who, like, you are the they recognize her name, at least. It's more than half the people in the States who say, like, where the fuck's this guy? Why? I mean, we do. Will I don't know that the average American knows who Kamala Harris is. Does that inform your thinking I mean, they soon won't know who uh, most the of the other people here are, then. Oh, that's true. I mean, they're not going to know who this guy is. They don't know who Kamala Harris is. They're certainly not going to know this guy. I mean, go up to any average American person and go, like, who's Pete Buttigieg? Who is this person? Yeah, just show up. Name picture. to this face, and they'll probably go like, uh, the president of Sweden." Where the worst part of the job is dealing with violence. Some guy. Does he look like the president of Sweden? As many don't have a as president. Were lost exactly. Oh, okay. But he looks like someone who could be the president of Sweden. Wait, what do you have? As this is prime minister. Prime minister. More guns made us safer. We'd be the safest country on earth. It what is the work difference anyway? Monarchy. And common sense oh. measures oh, like right. universal yeah, background checks sense. can't. Yeah, Seems not a republic. By Washington, yeah. even when most yeah. Republicans, let alone most Americans, we're not a Republican. Right and as somebody who yeah, not for we thanks Napoleon. I can tell you that there are weapons thanks, that have absolutely yeah. no place in American cities. We have some cities Republican parties in peacetime. Ever. My party is Republican. We don't. Right, not even our socialist party is against the for like the getting rid of the monarchy. I think we have a social I'm liberal that party that's uh, Number shitty. Number two, that uh, we is that Republican, and then there's us. That's the only two. One. Uh, I don't think Obama any of our parties in parliament is against getting rid of the monarchy. Banned. They might support it on paper, but like, like yeah, it's a very difficult so thing to do in practice. And I would yeah, they're not. They're not. I believe, I believe our our leader of this, or, or the, the, the political spokesperson, I should say, uh, said that it's definitely not it, on her bucket list, but it's in and the principal lastly, program. We should have smart guns. Yeah. No gun should be able to be sold unless your biometric measure could pull that trigger. It's within our right to do that. We can do that. Our enemy is the gun manufacturers, not the NRA. The gun manufacturer. Vice President, the NRA Defending the NRA. The NRA is, is the has fucking puppet of the gun manufacturers. All right, Chuck, this is a nobody. question uh, from idiot. our viewers. We put some, uh, <laughs> How can you say something so bold yet so brave, so Mr. Biden? From Kathleen, from yes. Yes. And also so <laughs> monumentally stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Because the NRA is entirely funded by the fucking gun manufacturers. And the process of our reputation abroad. The question is, what do you see as important early steps in reversing the damage done? And we'll put this one to Senator Bennett. Thank you very much. The problem isn't the KKK, it's the people all, killing other have people. To restore, uh, <laughs> our democracy at home. The rest of the world is looking for us for leadership. We have a president No, we who are not in the looking to U.S. for any leadership. The rest of the world doesn't like you. He doesn't you. believe in independent judiciary. He believes in the corruption that he's brought to Washington D.C. The world at large is what we have to mostly change. would and look to the U.S. for new tonight. sitcoms and I appreciate the fact <laughs> that there are or TV dramas. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, Second, and not to get and more and more most what we look to for the U.S. We don't look to the U.S. for this. What fucking country is begging for American leadership? Like, people are thankful Japan, they don't have Germany American leadership. A third ally of ours without saying I guess like dictators about propped up by the U.S. Russia. look to yeah. America for leadership. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saudi Arabia looks up to the America, in the American leadership. Of wow, great the whole Good company there, mate. Doesn't know whether to believe it or not. That is a huge problem when it comes to the national security of the United this States is, of America. This is a perfect and we time. Need to change that. Thank you, Senator. That is a perfect time for me to do another one of these down the line. And this is what this question is, which is, you're gonna have to re. You're likely gonna have to reset a relationship between America and, an, and another country or entity if you become president, because of perhaps because of some relationship that you just mentioned about President Trump. What is the first relationship you like to reset as president? Go down the line and I'll question. tell him to blame, sir. Well, one of my
my first phone calls would be to call the European leaders and say, we're back, because I totally Thank understand you. how important it is that the United States be well, part do appreciate of the Western this answer, Alliance. As a European. I, I'm trying to get one, one or two words here. It's, I, I, I hear you. Governor Hickenlooper. You know, I talk about constant engagement, and I think <laughs> said one, one or two words. words. The country I would go to, yeah. and I understand they've been cheating and, yeah. and stealing intellectual property, would be China, because okay. if we're going to do deal with public health pandemics, if we're going to do all the challenges Just of the China. Globe, We've got to have relationships Just with everyone. China. Mr. Yang, we're China. trying to squeeze in a couple more things before we go to another break. Mr. Yang. China, we need to cooperate with them on climate change, AI, and other uh, issues, North Korea. Thanks for the quickness. Mayor Buttigieg. <laughs> Two no countries, fucking cheetah. allies he will have pissed off worse between now and then. What we know is that our relationship with the entire world needs to change. And it starts by modeling American values at home. Okay, Mr. Vice President, I'm trying to be quick. That's not we a country. We know NATO will fall apart if he's elected four more years. There's a single most consequential alliance okay. in the history of the United States. Yeah, Senator Sanders. Fair Sanders. enough. Like, we are making it's plans for a European country. army. I think it is rebuilding trust in the United Nations and understand okay. that we can solve Got conflicts it. without war but with diplomacy. Senator Harris. I like that. The United all Nations. The the it's getting all the countries in Senator there. Senator Gillibrand. President Trump is hell-bent yeah, on starting a war. With Iran. What did you say? My first act Iran. will be to engage Iran to stabilize the Middle East and make sure we do not Thank start you. an unwanted, never-ending war. Senator Bennett, quickly. Our European allies. Previate, I would like to have stronger relations to, to Russia. About how to deal with the refugee crisis. And Congressman Swalwell. My first act in foreign policy: we're breaking up with Russia and making up with NATO. Thank you all. Thank you all. Oh we my have God. Last question for Vice President Biden tonight. You have made your decades of experience in foreign policy. That was a weird answer. We're breaking up with Russia and making up with Europe. The time came to say yes or no on one of the most consequential foreign policy decisions. Did he say NATO? Even worse. Yes. You voted for the Iraq war. You have since said you regret that vote. But I'm just going to boo the rest of this thing. <laughs> when it comes to making yeah, a decision fair enough. About taking As European, I did appreciate all mom's answers. Because once we, you know, once Europe. Bush abused that, even though we're not a country, what but happened you know, was still, we got elected whatever. after I mean, that. Yeah, she did say, say she would make one phone Nations, call to the leaders so of Europe. It's like, there's more than Iraq. Iraq. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of countries in like the European Union. Can't just make one phone call to everyone. Make a phone call to like the fucking EU president, I guess. Ring a ding ding ding. Hello, Latvia. And We're I back. I believe that yeah. you're not going to find anybody. Can you pass the word on to Estonia and Lithuania and uh, uh, pick up the phone? Phone. Now, did I understand this right? That you're all sharing a phone? <laughs> yeah, is there like a phone pyramid here? I call you, and you will call like you know Sweden. Sweden will call uh, probably not Denmark, but like Norway. And make sure Hello, that is this Sweden? Yes, this is Latvia. Um, <laughs> new President <laughs> Williamson wants to say she's back. Alone. That's why we have to repair our alliances. We put together uh, 65 welcome back, countries. Or, um, no, I didn't sure understand it either. Dealt with ISIS in <laughs> Iraq and other places. That's what I would do. That's what I have done, and I know how to do it. Senator Sanders, 30 seconds. Uh, what the Biden wants to go back into Iraq. What did I miss? Joe and I have in our record. Is it's a reboot. For that war, <laughs> a war reboot. To that war, which is a total Everyone loves stuff. reboots these Second days and oh, sequels. Hey. Biden getting called out for, for supporting the Iraq war. To utilize nice. the War Powers Act to get the United States out of the Saudi-led intervention in Yemen, which is the most horrific yeah, humanitarian nice. disaster on earth. And thirdly, let me be very clear: I will do everything I can to prevent a war with Iran, which would be far worse than disastrous war with Senator Iraq. Senator Sanders, thank you. All right, guys. Yeah, of the American we got people. Good disaster. news is you get that more That would be... Uh, even if it wouldn't be a disaster, it's a more bad break. policy, but right yes. Right that back. would be horrific. A war with Iran. I mean, yeah. Iran probably also has nukes. Yeah, and they're way even more they technologically like, advanced than yeah, Iraq was back then. Well, they have way larger army. Yeah, huge fucking army, huge infrastructure. Also, population. Yeah, what else like, support from know, Russia and China? Yeah, 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 no, yeah. No, a round war. Awful idea. Awful. Yeah, and a war with Iran would just be a proxy war, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like Russia and China would pour in support material aid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is. I'm a congressman, but also just, a father of a wow. two year old and an infant. When I'm not changing diapers, can get, like, I'm changing diapers. I'm changing aid in, like, around. Time, like, even though they the block off, like, better. the fucking Strait of Hormuz thing. I went to Congress thing, at 31. They can just go for, like, that sea that up north, like which you borders Russia. It's made this guy sucks, by the way. He just said that he's, like, he changes diapers, he wants to change Washington. So I have led the effort. 
to elect the next generation of members of Congress. I am a normal human. I have offspring. This is a new generation. This is the generation uh, that will to me, end fellow climate chaos. Americans? This is the generation that will solve student loan debt. I am Swalwellbot2000. Enough is enough and end gun violence. I do feel uh, I am programmed to change diapers That's and run for president. <laughs> this guy, this whole thing is torture. My memory library contains everything needed to run country. I have an idea about Donald Trump. I have to be honest, Donald I'm... Because this was my idea, you know, doing this instead of, you know, uh, recording the next proper episode. I'm really regretting this. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're regretting this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll have to do some penance for my sins later. So, Mr. President, if you're listening, I want you to hear me, please. <laughs> you have harnessed fear for political purposes, and only love can cast that out. So I, sir... I have a feeling you know what you're doing. I'm going to harness love for political purposes. I will meet you. Yes, queen. And sir, love will win. <laughs> or Isn't mom. that exactly what Hillary said? I mean, yes. That love Trump's hate and all that. But this is a bit Thank more spiritually an Orby. <laughs> yeah, I think Hillary yes. said something like, um, uh, stronger together love and Trump's taking hate the high road. Yeah, love Trump's hate. Love Trump's uh, hate, yeah. Family came searching religious freedom here. The ability for one generation what if they're like super fucked up as family? <laughs> like it's it's <laughs> it's a cannibalistic Christian cult or something. Like the ones I used yeah, to work for uh, fucking in the Denver public schools. That's why Mike's I'm the thing though, a lot of like these religious groups that came to the U.S. Colorado, to like uh, escape religious together, persecution, they were like the most hard-line uh, religious fundamentalist groups, which were not welcome in Europe. Well, yeah, I mean, it led to like witch and trials and stuff. Yes, like, you know, <laughs> we were starting to get rid of those over in Europe because this is going to be stupid. Hard and we got rid of all the people that wanted them. So. <laughs> yes, like, hey, having religious fundamentalists in your government kind of destabilizing. That's kind of bad. <laughs> Who'd have thought? That same yeah. Scrappy Unless you've seen Game of Thrones. Colorado, the most oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Really good last season, you know. Aye, aye, aye. I've heard. <laughs> I didn't even watch the last season. I don't think uh, I watched the final two seasons because I got so bored. And we I haven't watched the first season, so... And the first three seasons are very good. Oh, nice. I just heard winter is going to come, there's dragons, and there's a red wedding. This is accurate. That's knowledge. That's basically, that's basically the first three seasons you just summarized. You don't oh, need cool. big government. Winter, do dragons, big and red I know nice. that because I'm the one yeah. person up here who's actually done the big progressive things everyone else is talking about. If we turn towards socialism, well, we run the risk of helping to reelect the worst president in American history. Boo. Also, he's Boo. saying you need to be centrists in order to beat Trump, America, which is yeah. literally what women Hillary in said. Are on fire. Oh, it is. We yeah, but it's, it's, it's a terrible strategy. We run for office it is. Fucking hell. But our rights are under attack like never before by President Trump and the Republicans who want to repeal Roe v. Wade. Which is why I went to the front line. Hey, Jill Brand, what, what, what would you say if I vaped during As your answer? I will take on the fight <laughs> do it, that do no it, one do else it. I stood up to the Pentagon and repealed the <laughs> nice. National Tell. I've stood I'm up to idiot. the banks and voted against the bailout twice. I've stood up to Trump more than any other senator in the U.S. Senate. And I have the most comprehensive oh, approach for really? getting money out of politics Any auto. with publicly funded hmm. elections to deal with Being a contrarian a Republican in disguise. Now is not the time to play like, how sad is it now that being a contrarian is like a, 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 a distinction now? You could disagree with literally alone. anything he said. Uh, it, it, all it takes is a Senator no Trump vote. Thinking. It doesn't take this any year, thinking. Uh, it, it, it's, if, if that's First, your whole goal, I don't think you're tonight, constructive. Like, you, I, there's bound to be some Democrats stuff that's helpful. The have one for the yeah. It makes me think and you think less if you're Trump. just a contrarian saying no to everything right Trump question. did because it's Trump. And the right candidate to beat Donald Trump will be solving the problems like Donald Trump Just like, I'm the most fucking anti-Trump. Really? Really? There's several other senators here which, you know, kind of, you know, and progressives. I am not, that candidate. I can build a much broader Trump coalition to, to beat like, Donald Trump. It is not left. It is not right. It is forward. And that is where uh. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Harris. Yang gang. Senator Harris, the floor. That's centrism. <laughs> Come on. Radical centrism. 
All the fucking socialist yang gangers. Please fucking tell me how is that a good fucking thing? Not left, not right. Straightforward. Like, ah, oh, God. It's a, oh. Come on, yang gang. Jesus. And your dreams and your fears and what wakes you up at three o'clock. Shut up, Kamala. You're not dream guy. And that's why I have. You don't get to use dreams. That's trademarks. That is about everything from what <laughs> Where we is Cory Booker? Deliver health care. Yeah, he was on the last one. Yeah, he talks about dreams. And when I think about I should imagine he mentioned needs, dreams, I but uh, I don't I remember. Be I think so, yeah. Oh, so the first one was for people who are even more inconsequential. With Got it. <laughs> yeah. the yes. And giving I, I don't uh, envy you. Elizabeth US Warren. I wasn't too bad. I was drinking. Drew Carey. Please join us. Well, the Drew Carey <laughs> guy, did he talk about climate change? Yeah, that was yes, the only thing yes. I talked about. He mentioned like everything in Back to Climate Change. Oh, he did. Green tie. It was old message. Very on message. I approve. To my family. Yeah. It was really funny. Every question he was asked, even about like healthcare and other he unrelated things, he managed to tie it to the environment. Yeah. Which I do appreciate. I do like that voice being there. Single vote on the U.S. Supreme Court. Yeah. Climate change kind of a big deal. I appreciate it. Where the per capita income was below twenty thousand. I don't appreciate this when guy. I took office into a brighter future. I'm running because the decisions we make in the next three or four years are going to decide how the next 30 or 40 go. And when I get to the current age of the current president in the year 2055, I want to be able to look back on these years and say my generation delivered climate solutions, racial equality, and an end to endless war. Help me deliver that new generation to Washington before it's too late. Mm, you're you. going to be the one who ends <laughs> racial injustice. Man who fired the black chief of police for exposing racism. But how come well, nothing some really changes? Decent how come people? for the last yes. 45 years Actually, wages no. have been stagnant for the middle class? How come we Actually, have the highest rate of child poverty? Bad. How come 45 right, million but... people still have student debt? How come three people own more wealth than the bottom half of America? And here is the answer. Nothing will change unless we have the guts to take on Wall Street, the insurance industry, the pharmaceutical industry, the military industrial complex, and the fossil fuel industry. If we don't have the guts to take them on, we'll continue to have plans, we'll continue to have talk, and the rich will get richer, and everybody else will be struggling. Thank you, Senator. That was a really solid point. And lastly, yeah. we'll hear from Vice President Biden, right. sir, you have 45 I think so. Um, audio Thank thing you very much. Yeah. What was his bit. point? It just felt like he said, everyone else but me is stupid. <laughs> well, yeah. well, he did. Out. But Most he's right. <laughs> racist and, 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 and I mean, he's not the brightest, but he's he, he's the guy. He's like the it, his thing is the only thing that would work, kind of, and the rest are just <laughs> heart, but like soulless I'm shills. Secondly, running for president because I think we have to restore the backbone of America. The poor and hardworking middle class people. You mean segregation? Oh, poor hardworking people. The dignity they Not segregationists. <laughs> uh, Restore the backbone of America. America. Bring back slavery. I mean, bring back uh, the Klan. There's not a single thing the American Real people backbone. can't do. This is the United I States wanna of America. I want to hug you. We can do anything if I want to rub your shoulders, America. God bless you all. And may God protect <laughs> oh, our would. troops. <laughs> I, I'm, I see those juicy shoulders, and I really want to touch them. I, as president, I will give free back massages to every woman in America. <laughs> People report more and more back injuries and back pains. That pain to me here as someone who loves to, to rub backs. And I promise you, America, I will rub all 320 million backs if I'm elected president. You'll spend all of his four years just rubbing back. Is it over? Uh, I think so. So, we did it! We're through! We survived! Yeah, we're oh, done. Oh, I'm getting emotional here. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, God, that was uh, painful. Post-game analysis. Um, why did we do this? <laughs> uh, penance for our sins. Yeah, penance for us being away so long, I guess. Yep, so, yeah. ugh, that was painful. Yeah, I mean... I, I, uh, it was just as pointless and dumb and unnecessary as I thought it would be, but they're even more spineless and 
uh, yeah, um, I was hoping it was going to be like pragmatic, a little bit more feel. here. Yeah, I mean, now if it didn't happen, was Biden being called a racist? Which okay, that was nice, but that was two hours. Yeah, but Almost I just two hours. It just feels like now that we're in the Trump presidency, especially, it just feels incredibly like debates. It feels like they're ghosts or something. Like for for uh, hundreds of years, people speculated about ghosts, and then science came along and said, "Yeah, you know, it's probably or like it. They don't exist." And then people, as a hobby, might be interested in ghosts or kind of think that ghosts are real. That's kind of how I look at debates now. Like, the 2016 election and the debates between Trump and Hillary completely showed that debates are entirely useless. Everyone reported Hillary won all of them. It didn't change anything in the polls, and Trump still won. And that's basically what's happening here. It's not going to change anything if someone screws up in a debate. Even in the Democratic or Republican internal debates, people have already made up their minds. People are already thinking either this guy or this guy or this woman. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it's it's just them squabbling and sometimes circle jerking. And, like, that's what I think largely, about the debates now. Largely, I would agree. That said, uh, uh, Biden supporting segregation to, like, a black woman. Kind of bad. Uh, that has heard him. But is it going to change any of Biden's supporters' minds about Not supporting Not his hardcore Biden? supporters, no, but the people who are just fake, they're like, oh, he's maybe the most electable. Yeah. Like, the ones who are just vaguely supporting any of these people, them, I think that, like, that as a highlight would hurt him. I don't think that's really how it works, though, especially with Biden, because I think people support Biden because they miss Obama or, and or they're old and don't want any of this socialism crap. And like I don't think I anything think he says is going to change yes. that. And I think that is the what what's he polling at 45% at the moment. I will completely believe that half of all registered democrats are 65 plus years old and sick of this tweedy thing that Trump is doing and just want Let's Obama see. back. Let's see how is he doing in the polls? Uh, let's see. He's, Biden is pulling at 28.6%. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, he's dropped. He has dropped. His uh, highest ever was 41%. Okay. Yeah. And that was oh, in dropped. May. Yeah, ah. when he first announced, and everyone was like, hell yeah. yeah. And then people heard him speak a bit, like, wait. Where's the. Uh, so, support? yeah, so from, <laughs> from May, he dropped from 41.4% to 28.6% yeah. today. It can. I'll eat my words. Like, a lot of this stuff, yeah doesn't make much difference like most of this debate not gonna make a difference except that yeah. him supporting you know racial segregation that would make a difference i guess bernie sanders has actually been dropping a lot really where's he in at? Uh, april of uh, april 27th oh, yeah, was april. his peak he was at 23 percent and now he's at 14.8 percent yeah elizabeth Jensen. warren is right behind him at 14.6 percent yeah actually huh. on july 14th Warren actually pulled above Sanders huh. for a but, brief period of time. But again, you can't really trust these polls because it's going it, to... No, there's always not. the landslide effect of early... Because the the states in the Democratic nomination process don't vote at the same time. They vote at different dates that the yeah. states decide. So you it's, so. it's all about momentum once you get going. So if, let's say, uh, someone like um, Warren wins a state... Uh, the first the first state or whatever and then that's going to give her momentum and make people think right. she could actually win and then vote for her so it's usually Biden's, it's yeah. no, not Biden, fucking Burn is going to win New Hampshire now yeah but so like because there's a fucking supply chain from Vermont to New Hampshire pretty short yeah I, th I, I mean it, it's all about it's all about who wins the early states and stuff and like Bernie always polls very strongly in rural communities and the yeah, stuff, I um, imagine he'll do well. working class states but um, I I don't know because old people will vote for Bern for for Biden and they usually show up more. Yeah. Uh, because because they just don't want things to change that much and it really stresses them out thinking about that they might have to get a new doctor or whatever. Then again, oh. who's excited <laughs> for Biden? I don't think old people get excited about anything, no, but they still vote. Excited. I mean. Like, I guess but... they just don't want things to change. They just they don't. Vote, yeah. But it's... I mean, there, there's more to like. <clears throat> politics and just voting it's also the organizing and shit which i don't imagine there's a lot of you know biden organizing going on like who the fuck's organizing for biden mm, a lot I don't of think money anyone's people. organizing for him but i think old people will just wait for him anyway yeah but yeah, see he has a lot of money behind him because he, he represents mm. the uh oh, yeah yeah centrist democrats which is where all the money are so 
But even so, you still need people to actually, you know, make sure people get to the polls, know where they are, and, you know, that that infrastructure has to be there, largely. Yeah. Well, I mm-hmm. guess not necessarily. I mean, Trump managed to somehow win without that infrastructure, which is kind of incredible. Yeah, he, he didn't even have any local offices near the end. They no, just gave didn't. up. Yeah. Like, him winning the primaries is kind of incredible, given that... I mean, I've read stories of how these primaries were done, like, under his campaign. That was not a campaign. It was just nothing. There was no infrastructure yeah. for anything, and he still won. Yeah, no, it was it was Which a mess. Which means yeah. to say that he has a pretty huge base of support in the Republican Party. Yeah, and I would argue that Biden has the same, unfortunately. Eh, anyway, we'll we'll so we'll next see. episode, I'm going to talk about Biden. And uh, um, yeah. who else am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about Elizabeth Warren. And oh, yeah. I'm also here is going to talk about uh, the other guy, Sanders. Yeah, and I'm going to also talk about Booker, Cory Booker. Wait, hang on. Do we still have other people to talk about? Uh, we didn't, no, I, no, I were looking at our notes yesterday no, 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 and couldn't figure out, like, hang on, have we talked about this person or not? Yeah, um, it's in the topics document, but uh, we should probably end the episode before we talk about that. Ah, uh, yeah, fucking spoiler alert here. <laughs> uh, well, tune in next time, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this fucking violation of the Geneva Conventions on Podcast Host. And uh, check out the Discord server. Remember to smash that like button, hit the bell icon, yada yada yada. Do visit the real life shit island though, Copenhagen. I've heard it's alright. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yep. Uh, join the Discord. Patreon. Are we forgetting any fucking Twitter? Go on Twitter. Do we have Twitter? I don't know. Look you know the, you know the drill. Just check, click the links in the fucking description. Uh, you know how yeah. this works. You're not idiots. I think higher of a little higher of our audience than that. Did you turn into like a blue comedian or something? <laughs> it was like a fucking description with the fucking click it. With the <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's me. Just fucking subscribe or else we'll just go over there and murder your pets. Just, <laughs> oh my God. You know the drill. Uh... Thanks for listening, people. Thank you, uh, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for listening. Thank we're slap you. happy. Goodbye. Uh, we're just... Ugh. Good- Goodbye. <laughs> I think that was a good outro. <laughs> uh, yeah, just fucking do it. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> uh, really? Oh, God. I'll be... Well, we should have made it special. That's uh, a special, yeah. Well, uh, should I stop recording now? <laughs> uh.